This ain't your ordinary media. Also what a whale out of handcuffed lightning throw thunder in jail. If you look this way, you realize they're the only thing that matters. And that's your mother, that's your family, that's love. This platform is for creatives on the clock grinding. You know, stay loyal to your creativity because it's a gift. Art is, is within us entirely. You know, instead of it just being about one kind of genre, I never kind of let a cap be put over my creativity. Entrepreneurs building empires in the dark. But without a game plan, without a, a strong sense of faith in what you're doing, it's going to be real hard to accomplish anything. Simply put, this stage is for everybody getting to the bag. Um, you know, when kids have dreams, hopefully adults can give them an outlet to possibly make that dream become reality. By any means necessary. By any means necessary. My homies call me Chief, and this is the Each One Teach One Podcast. Yeah. yeah, we back. We Hold back, on, baby. We back. back. You yeah. can hear it this time. Y'all can hear it this time. <laughs> you can hear it this time. Respectfully. The upgrade. Yes, sir. Yes, man sir. With the upgrade. This is the Each One Teach One podcast, episode eight. Uh huh. I am your host, Chief. And my co-hosts are here. We here. They are here. Episode yeah. eight, baby. They are here. Yes. Episode eight. Yes, yes. I got choice. Actually, I got well-made choice on my left. In the building. In the building. Mm-hmm. And then I got Hot Rod, a.k.a. Mr. You Know Why, wow. uh-huh. a.k.a. Gotta keep it spicy. We here, we here. Episode eight, baby. <laughs> number eight, eight is another important eight. number too. You know, mm-hmm. if you pr- turn it to the side, so it's, it's infinity. infinity. I was gonna mm-hmm. uh, hold up, hold up, uh, hold up, uh, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> numbers, this, get this with the, the numbers. Infinity, you know infinity. I mean? episode eight. Mm-hmm. Let's be great. You know what I mean? We also have to celebrate five hundred views, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Cups uh-huh. up. 500 up, views baby. on episode 7. Up, baby. Thank you to everybody that watched, everybody that subscribed, everybody that shared. We really, really appreciate you. Seriously, we appreciate you. Clap it up. Clap yeah, it shout up. Shout out to clap y'all, up. for real. Yeah. Can't do it by yourself. Facts. 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 Also, we have to celebrate our platform being on all DSPs, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts, all of that. Clap it up. Clap yeah, it up for that. Up for that too. So Check if you want to tune in on your commute to work, on your commute on a train when you're driving, mm-hmm. you ain't got the time to pull us up on YouTube to it's look up. at us, Literally. it's up there. I'm about to say, if Literally. you think we're too ugly, you could just listen to us on the audio, man. <laughs> just listen to you us on the see audio. Listen you to see us our while faces. you work out and all that. Hello. Oh, while you work out. That's mm-hmm. big. That's big. That's important because I'm trying to get back in the gym too. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've been slacking this week, so tomorrow. We back. We back. Full body workout. Gentlemen, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Doing pretty good, man. Crazy week for me, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. What happened? What happened? We we live well, on air. Well, Tell listen, us what well, happened. I just started making loaded mac and cheese as mm-hmm. part of my regiment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Aside from the drinks, and I got I got two sellouts this mm-hmm. week alone. Clap bro. it up. Clap, clap, clap it up, bro. Drink. That's why we ain't got yeah. no well-made choice we drinks on the drinks. We got no food. Too, Everything's selling out. I'm sorry, All y'all. Good. I'm All sorry, good. We got we got V's coquito on deck. Yo, we yo, we got V's Coquito on deck. I had a yeah. Coquito party at the crib last night. Oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, we gonna saw wait. That. We gonna wait. wait. <laughs> we gonna wait. Yo, OD we gave it a yo, we full, yo, nah, like, because uh-huh. of the OD segment, we didn't turn into full blown alcoholics on here. I, I hey, mean, man. listen. <laughs> Hey, Listen, <laughs> V's Coquito available now too. Hit me up. It's the holiday season for the holidays, it's Thanksgiving, Christmas. Uh-huh. It's that time. And don't worry, this From ain't now for to sure. New Year's. This shit gonna be empty by the time we leave here. Oh, yeah, That's a definitely. Fact. <laughs> but right. we still want well-made choice drinks next episode too. I got you, bro. Also, there's hand sanitizer on the table. Yeah, you gotta turn it around. I'm telling you. We gotta pod responsibly. Absolutely. We, we shake respons- hands a lot on this podcast. A whole lot. Pod and COVID numbers are increasing. Yeah. Yep. Masks on the table. Masks available. Oh, yeah. Mine is right here. My E1T1 pocket. LLC.com. I still got to plug that. If yeah. you like the mask, <laughs> it that. is available. Hot Rod, how about you, man? How you been since the last episode? I've been pretty good, man. Can't front. I've been pretty good. Nothing too, nothing different, nothing changed too much, but mm-hmm. I'm healthy. 
That's it. That's all that matters. That's, that's it. All that oh, wait. Matters. I'm lying. I'm lying. Something is different. I started doing oh, the hot rod show. Healthy? I'm like, what the fuck? No, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, whoa. What's I'm going on? Like, something did change. I started doing, um, I started going live with the ladies, you know, asking the silly questions and stuff like that. So, What is it called? It's called the hot rod show. The hot so rod show. Just I like fire. that. You know what I mean? I like that. I interview ladies. This time I'm going to, I don't know, this this week I'm going to probably change it up a little bit, ask some other type of questions. I'm going to interview guys this time, see what they think about some of the topics. I love that. That's good. Just I love fun. how it's just this shit fun. turned into just interviews, which you know we still gonna do yeah. to a podcast to now Hot Rod branching off to his own podcast. Yeah, that's like wild. it's amazing. It's Only amazing. up. Like, I'll be honest with you. I, it would have never happened if you know we. I didn't get the opportunity if I didn't get that call from you because I would. I, I mean, mm. I was watching a lot of podcasts, but uh-huh. you know what I mean. I got the strength to actually do it, so I gotta. Yeah, I gotta you commend involved, you. You know what I mean. I gotta yeah. commend you for that. Nah, come on, bro. It's the team I got effort. To. Teamwork make the dream work, but and not, you getting views. Listen, yeah. but this ain't start without you, bro. Yeah. Nah, I, listen, you, listen, I appreciate you it. You shine the light on it. I appreciate it. Shine the light on it. But like I said on Instagram. The subscribers came when y'all came. Appreciate that. I'm not the egotistic nigga. Yeah. Oh, my podcast, Mr. Machismo. I'm an alpha, yes. Yeah. But yeah. I'm also a mature man first. <laughs> Respectfully. Mm. Y'all made this shit lit. So I appreciate y'all. I mean, we did it together yeah, at the end together, of the day. You know what? You know what I mean? Salute. 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 We did it, Salute. We did it. Salute. We did it together at the end Salute. of the day. Salute. We did it together. Now. <laughs> I always now, the game when shit about to get real. We start... Every episode with social justice, yes, right? We do. Mm-hmm. So we got a new president, maybe. Yeah, maybe we yeah, got a new still, president. This shit is still, oh, what's like going on? Yeah, yeah. How do you feel? Well, I was one of the guys that celebrated outside. I don't know if y'all seen the video. Yeah, the shit kind of went viral. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying what happened? What yeah, happened? like nah. Well, shout out, shout out my boy Rose Slushies. <laughs> He's the one that started that whole wave. Like, came like like once we found out he was the new elect. People came outside, started celebrating, popping champagne all in the street. It was so lit. We had the whole block closed off. Like, the cops came and shut out the only access point to the block. So the, all the buses had to go up, they come back around. Like, it was it was, it was, was fun. It was fun to be around the energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was more than just him getting getting elected. It was just everybody coming together. And I like I, and, that. And I, I, love to be, I, I love to be a part of that energy. That shit was dope, yo. All right, before Hot Rod answers, right, mm-hmm. can mm-hmm. I give my perspective on things? Oh, yeah, Go definitely. Ahead, thing. All right, so I was happy the person I voted for won. Okay. Right? I was happy about, obviously, the first ever woman. Not only that, that's important that she's a woman, <clears throat> but she's a woman of color. Color. Yes, yes. Ever, right? I was happy about that, right? But and this ain't a shot at Choice and his peoples, cause Choice is my brother in mm-hmm. real life. I wasn't outside doing no fucking backflips or like the dude yeah. on, or the dude on CNN <laughs> crying because there's another white slave master. Yeah. With all due respect, Van Jones, whatever his name is, Van, whatever, mm-hmm. crying on CNN. Like, come on, man. Come yeah. on. Come yeah. on, man. Like, at the end of the day, evil is still evil. Mm-hmm. And why am I hit me up the day I voted, right? And we had like a, a huddle. You know what I mean? I'm not going to call it an argument. And why am I was one of my closest friends. You guys know my first guest. He's an a incredibly talented musician. Mm-hmm. He's an actor. He's been in films, film festivals and all that. And he was like, yo, bro, what did you get out of voting? And I was like, I, it was a right that our people fought for, the mm-hmm. right to vote. So I'm going to use that right. And he was like, nah, man, he's kind of like Hot Rod. Like, yo, fuck that voting shit. They got to earn our vote. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, what did you get from not voting? Right. Nothing. Mm -hmm. What did I get from voting? Nothing. It's Mm -hmm. the same shit, but I'm still going to use that right because it's important. Yeah. I was happy that he won, but I'm not satisfied. I'll be satisfied when shit change out here. I will say this because not for nothing, while we were celebrating... We all said, listen, today is a day to celebrate, but tomorrow, listen, we voted for you, so now we got to hold you accountable. That's what it is. Like, yeah, you know, we could all celebrate, have a good time, or what happened, mm-hmm. but the next day is back to work. Now, because we voted for you, now we're looking at you like, what's next? Can I ask what you are we something, though? Go ahead. Were you celebrating Biden winning, winning or Trump leaving? Mm. Neither. Because <clears throat> I think that's why I was happy. That see, and that, Trump no, is a lot of people. Yo, a lot of people. Actually, let's not use names. That 
45 is leaving. A okay. lot of people will. A lot, I think a lot of people were more so happy that 45 was leaving. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I think that's one of the reasons why people voted for the new elect. Like, oh, 100. Not, not not because not, me, but not because you wanted else. him there, but because you wanted somebody else, someone out. out. You know what I'm saying? And if you did that, that's not the right way to go about it. But not for nothing, people also need to understand we're not just voting for a new president. We're voting for different branches of government, like Congress, stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. people have to understand, like. Yeah, he's the face, but we also have to do our research on who we're putting in those in those offices that signing off those bills too. Nah, absolutely, so, absolutely. How you yeah. feel, man? My thing is this: I want to see something change. You know what I mean? Like people vote all the time, and I I want to see things change in the communities where I come from, where mm-hmm. people look like me. Okay, I don't want it to still be the police brutality and stuff like that. I don't want it to be... Mm. I'm not going to go down the list of the problems. There's nah, so many problems, we going we gonna to get there. Nah, that's there. why I don't want to do it right now. So nah, I, I we just gonna want... we going to get there. The, my parents were so happy and people was going crazy. And it reminded me... And I hit you up. I told you about the... I don't know if you guys saw the Michael X movie the, the, when he was in jail with, um, with the Muslim guy. And he was saying, well, you know... Uh, and I'm, I might be misquoting the movie. But he was saying how... Um, I think it was a, a um, they let not Jesse Owens, Jackie Robinson. They let Jackie Robinson play in the major leagues, mm-hmm. and they, it reminded me of that scene because he was like, "Well, you know, they throw they throw us a bone, and we're supposed to forget, you know, all those years of, of oppression, of yeah. oppression." And another thing that you said too just now, you were just like you were saying that, um, you know, our, a lot of people use this, "Oh, my our ancestors died for the right for us to vote." Well, they also they also died for us to own property too. They mm-hmm. also vote. They also died for for us to be able to do so many other things that people don't go crazy about it's just right. oh it's voting you it's know what i mean voting. no and nobody wants that. to own property nobody wants to you know what i mean there's so many other things that off the top of my head i can't really think about right nah, now listen we're gonna get to it in this yeah. episode let's do it because we, there's a lot of shit that's fucked up a lot of shit yeah, yeah. N- not only because of 45 they shit that been fucked up 45 just heightened it with his you know mm-hmm. logic and the way that mm-hmm. he moved right so one of the things that is new to me, right? Kinda is healthcare racism. Mm-hmm. Mm. Healthcare okay. racism. So one of my good friends sent me this TikTok yeah. of a black woman, right? And I don't want to misquote it, but she was like, the woman in the TikTok was like, if you're watching this, it's probably because you're either a black woman mm-hmm. or someone <laughs> that cares about um black women. So I'm like, all right, I care about black women. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So let me tune in. And she goes, doctors are to black women what police officers are to black men. I see her point. When she said that shit, I was like, whoa. I see her point. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And that shit fucked me up because I know how I feel. And again, this ain't the bashing law enforcement podcast because I got close friends that are law enforcement. This is the podcast that doesn't tolerate fucked up cops. Cops Mm. shooting women in their sleep. Mm -hmm. Cops shooting a man fucking 60 times. Like, Mm -hmm. shooting at a man 60 times. This ain't that. But then when I heard about, like, I love, like, when I, like, doctors, like, I always wanted to be a doctor. That's what you're, you come out the womb in a Haitian Haitian household. You're a lawyer or a doctor. That's why I hate it now. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So to hear that. And then to see, like, the passion and the conviction that that woman had in the video, I wanted to do some research and shit. So I started reading up on so much stuff, and I don't want to misquote anything. But apparently some medical professionals and medical students did, like, a study. And in that study, and again, they were just, it's not factual information. But for some reason, I think it was done in, like, 2016, they came up with this theory that black people feel Mm -hmm. less pain than white people. You know, what the fuck? Hmm. With that, what that's, do you that's, even... That's a weird... <laughs> that's weird. ...analogy or way to put it. I know we different, but... uh We ain't that different. <laughs> we not that different. Yeah, like, 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 I don't... The only way I could think about it is them saying that we tolerate more pain because we done been through so much. So it's like, mm. things is numb, but that's the only way I could think of them even bringing that, like, that type of theory up. I don't know. I, I didn't understand it. And then, know. again, you know, with these algorithms, when they start to see me Googling shit, mm-hmm. oh, th- for you sections yeah. start popping oh up. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, 
there was a, a story that's too too close to home you know of a, it's this is something that happens but there's a particular person that recently passed away like giving birth mm-hmm. and then it wasn't just one it wasn't just two it wasn't just at the same location i don't want to cease and desist so i'm not going to mention the hospital and it's like the common theme was it was a person of color mm-hmm. passing away <clears throat> during the greatest time of their life giving birth yeah and why like oh man like this shit just has me because i want to be a father one day you know what i'm saying like can you imagine that pain that pain yeah raising your child by yourself because their mom passed away yeah and like that during the happiest procedure as painful as i'm sure it is even before that when you when you just like at that moment it's like okay cool like i get a baby but my wife is passed passed on. Yeah, like that moment, like that's what kind of sticks is sticking out to and, me right and now. And now I'm, I'm not even there yet with the with the with, with the after stuff. But like how right about there. if she's yeah, passing yeah. on because of malpractice? Oh yeah, of course. Yes. Or ra- racism? Or mm. bad doctors? Or yeah. actually, yo, there's no such thing as a bad doctor, bro. It's too oh, fucking hard to mm. become a doctor to be bad at to it. Be bad at it. That's a fact. To be bad at it. That means there's something going on here. It's I'm a, not gonna get in this conspiracy theory shit. I am, but uh, I mean, <laughs> like you said, there's no, there's no such thing as a bad a doctor, bit. but it's just, it is a such thing as bad character in that doctor uniform. I'm, mm. If I'm saying like just like when it goes to police, to teaching, like you could put on a different hat and a different show sleeve for everybody, but you're still the same person in that uniform. If I'm and, saying so, if that was a situation where that's their thought process, they've been like that. Outside of that hospital. I'm telling you, you bro, like these so. doctors, and again, like, uh, it, you got to call it what it is. Like Choice say, you got to call a spade a spade. Yo, mm-hmm. there is racism in healthcare. It is. Bro, There's I, a lot I, of racism I, in everything, bro, in this capitalist capitalism. I get it, blah, blah, blah. There's racism in healthcare, and that's the one place. I could deal with a fucked up police officer. Try me. Right. Try me. Mm-hmm. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a criminal. Address me as such, and I know the law. Don't address me like a criminal, because right. you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. Mm-hmm. But a doctor, I'm coming to you for help. Yeah, help this is, me. This is my health. You talking about like? And in the black community, especially amongst black men, we don't go to the doctor like that. And that's scared, we some about. of us just scared to go because, like, subconsciously maybe, we know, bro. Yeah. Subconsciously, you 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 kind of know, like like. It's just a, I mean, it's, it's like an energy thing. You can just yeah, feel it. Cause yeah. I never really had a bad experience where you know I was subconscious. You know they put you to sleep or whatever, and I wake up with a missing toe. I never had that. You know mm-hmm. I see it in movies. I hear about conspiracy theories. I never it never personally happened to me, mm-hmm. but it probably happened to somebody that looked like me. You know what I mean? And that it it's it's a real thing. I think. That subject is a real thing. That shit thing. is scary, man. Like That's cause... why we got to like, you know, and again, I don't want to go too deep into it because I want to have a woman here to discuss how she feels mm-hmm. in the future about going to the doctor. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Like, the doctor? Yeah. You feel me? And then also... We can't I'm, even go to the doctor. We can't do nothing. You know bro. what I mean? Like, we can't do nothing. Like, I definitely, like, I really want a woman here to speak about that, but I had to bring it up. Yeah. To just shine light on this situation. Like, get get you a doctor you can trust, I guess. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, so much shit going on. We get talk a about. Doctor. I'm about to say, yeah, get, get you a, a private, private doctor. doctor that you can trust, yo. You know what I mean? Like, I know we all have primaries and shit like that, like for a primary doctor, but there's certain things your primary doctor can't do, like a regular checkup. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm talking about women. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how we going to get a woman here to talk about it. But, ladies, um, do your research, do your due diligence, be cautious when you're going to the hospital. And she also said, like, if you are feeling a, a pain or whatever mm-hmm. and a doctor refuses to under... Because they, like, listen, yo, it's hard being How a woman, bro. you refuse me mm-hmm. I'm telling service. you what's wrong with me. And right. you're telling me, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> like... Can you can you get that... Can, can we get that in writing? You're, you're refusing. So you're that's refusing. what she said. That's what she said. What she said. The woman on the TikTok was like, get it in writing. So if you go to your local or whatever doctor, 
mm-hmm. and you're telling them these are your symptoms this is what you think you need mm-hmm. and they're like no we're not treating you for that you need to get them or so are you verbally saying mm-hmm. that you are not going to that's that's what uh ladies do that and i'm gonna find a tiktok video actually it's on my instagram page mm-hmm. and follow the woman that um that uh posted that yeah because she Send it was perfect because some people don't know that you that you're supposed to do shit like that like, yeah. like you said, that's your health so are you, you have, saying that you're not, not saying that you're right. not going to so, help me yeah that's like, your that, right that's not common information you know what i mean they're not just broadcast that's not on tv <laughs> you nah, gotta it's not. you gotta know that that's like knowing how to claim your dog on taxes and shit like that that's yeah, the, the stuff that shit, we don't not, know about they're not gonna teach you they're not teaching you have to like literally go out and know yourself yeah but we all ran out and voted and yep. voted, but this is the type of shit that we dealing with every day. But we all ran out and Again, voted. Again, it go back to that. Stuff like that has to change. Yep. When stuff like that starts changing, then I will be more excited to vote. Then I'll do a backflip and risk breaking my neck because I'm, I'm a little too heavy set right now to do a backflip. <laughs> all right? My but the mood. <laughs> what yeah. I will say, though, is go check out Hidden Colors. I want to say it's Hidden Colors, the second one. They were talking about it was a lady who had, um, I think, passed away or something like that in some hospital uh, and they used her genes to cure something it was something that they used that they used her genes to cure something i don't know what it was but her genes all over the world right now uh, and her family got not a dime or no money of like course. that that's got to be illegal and you guessed it yeah she's an african american so yeah so yeah, if y'all want to get the, the full story about that, then you should definitely watch Hidden Colors, the second one. They'll be able to explain it better than I can, but mm-hmm. that should be enough to pique your interest about that, about something like that, because that could be you. God so mm. before I go into like how do we fix it, right? I'm just gonna make a statement here, and yeah. I hope that listen, our viewership and our supporters come in every single color. This isn't a platform where we bash white people. No. Mm -hmm. No. I have white friends that care about me just as much as you guys do. This is a platform where we bash bad people. Bad people come in every color too. Mm -hmm. The same way. Bad character. No morals. No integrity. But, again, for my sanity, Mm -hmm. when the time comes and my girlfriend, fiance, or wife gets pregnant, I will feel more comfortable with the doctor and doctors involved in bringing my child into this world Mm -hmm. are of African-American descent. Am I wrong? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Because that goes back to like keeping the money, you know, in your community, so to speak. I mean, if it's a private doctor, if it's if it's a hospital, then you know, they're fucked. But if if it's like a private practice, um, and it's a, a a black business, then you kind of keeping the money in, in the, the community. Black community, yeah. Because our money just be going. You know, it's supposed to bounce like nine times before it leaves. You know, the black community, but we don't do that. But that could probably help with that. I it guess. takes it takes one bounce for us, but yeah, it, it for surely. Be Perfect yeah. segue. Yeah. Bouncing. Perfect segue. So the first step into fixing it is building a black community, supporting black business. I don't even know which one to, to answer first. Man. So <laughs> the community or the business. You sent me. Um, <laughs> there's a, a guy out there named Dr. Umar Johnson, right? Mm. Who went on Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon's podcast or whatever. Salute to Nick Cannon. Um, he's one of the people on the on the front, on the lines, front lines of this revolution right mm-hmm. now. You saw what happened with the Wilding Out, but blah, we'll get to that it in another crazy. day. Crazy. They yeah. tried to offer DC Young Fly like allegedly, but allegedly. we going to get there. Get, yeah. That was crazy. Supporting black business. And Dr. Umar Johnson said that um to Choice's point, he was like, "Yo, black people spend He was like, "This holiday season coming up, mm-hmm. black people are going to spend 2 billion dollars." He was like, "We are the only people that could fix our own problem." Yep. Literally, we can build our own communities again. We can open up laundry mats, hospitals. He was like, why is can there not a, a black bank in every fucking borough in your community? Right. Or in your state, wherever you are. And I was like, damn. He was like, we got all this money and we spending it on bullshit. Mm-hmm. And then we go ask for help from the fucking government. Right. Black businesses, which is why today as I look around... Everybody's wearing something from a black business. Yep. 
not planned, but the shit just doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. And then me and Hot Rod were like, yo, bro, yeah, we support black business, da, 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 but we got to get it out on a, like, a bigger scale. But then Hot Rod was like, yo, but there are cons in black businesses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nah, I, I don't see that. You feel me? There's pros and cons in everything, but I don't think there's cons in supporting a black business. Even if I go to your store and you give me fucked up service. That's a con. It, okay. That's a con, I mean, bro. okay, I mean, but I bet you I'll come uh, back the next day. That, As long, there's a lot of people that will not come back. So what are some of your pros and cons about yeah, black I, business? I mean, I, I, I got to hear this. We, we obviously yeah. know the pros. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I just said one. Um, supporting, supporting your, your, you know, someone of African descent, get, helping get their business off the ground, getting it, you know, promoting it by wearing it or using the products. Just simply by a, a, a shout out. That's, that's promoting black businesses. Facts. But something as simple as the fabric that a clothing line uses. Like E one two and I like I, the reason why I like E one two one is because the messages that it sends out. Mm-hmm. But the fabric is also pretty good. You got some black businesses that's out there and they got like a Hanes t shirt, a regular Hanes t shirt, and they iron on their logo. That's not going to last. And then you're asking for um, whatever price you're asking for. You know what I mean? If you're really gonna do it, invest in yourself. No, absolutely. Right. Invest exactly. in the, the the better quality. But That's, you gotta start from somewhere. You do. E one T one wasn't always good quality. You know what I mean? And you still supported. Y'all still supported. You gotta start from I somewhere. See, I see. Hold on. I seen. I, I'm sorry, Trace. Go I ahead, saw now, the ahead. growth. You know what I mean? The yeah. growth happened. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Everybody should want to grow. That's one thing. Then customer service, bro, is a big thing. I remember you told me one time that that I don't know if you're gonna get mad about that, but whatever. I'm gonna say it anyway. So, a store opening in a store, right? Mm-hmm. It's something that I brought to you. It's like, bro, you should open up a store. And we had a conversation about you not wanting to open up a store because of bad customer service and the internet wave. This is way before Corona, way before mm-hmm. yeah. everybody was on the internet wave. You see what I'm saying? There is horrible customer service, bro. If I go to a restaurant and they don't give me enough rice, I'm probably not gonna come back. Not, <laughs> not that that's bad customer service, yeah. but I like rice. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Some people like good they like if i go to the store and i have a good experience i'm likely to come back i'm likely to say hey you should come over here you know i'm gonna hook you up with my guy you know what i mean like if a plumber comes to your house and they do a great job they give you a good price and have a a great yeah recommendation a recommendation for sure but if they do if they do a shitty job well even if they do a good job but they have a shitty attitude like i don't like that guy Mm. i don't you don't want that energy around you that's these are cons we gotta fix customer service we gotta fix um Quality, like you, there's got to be a plan to upgrade the quality of the of the clothing, and inconsistency too. But well, black businesses ain't just clothing, you know what I mean? I could own, just, a, I, just I, I could own a fucking cleaning service, customer, a dry cleaner. Customer service will always be a part of all of those. So, are businesses. you saying that you've had? A bad, a lot of bad experiences at black businesses because of customer service. I've had a lot of bad experiences be- because of both of those reasons: quality and customer service. All right, but you still supported them. Um, no, no, you stopped no. supporting them. Yeah, because it's the same thing. If I go to a a, a white owned business and you get that same negative, and I get that, yeah. I'm not coming back either. Okay, yeah. I'm right, not, no, enough. it's not just black people. It's 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 a people thing. It's an energy thing. If I feel some type of way when I come into your store, you follow me around, or I feel like I'm like I'm not being I'm not being accommodated the same way as someone else. The customer service is not good. I don't want to repeat that experience. Why would I want to repeat the hurt? All right, so I don't think this is. is like a, a black business conversation then, because there's gonna be bad customer service everywhere. Right. Yeah, but we're talking about black businesses and how 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 can we get it better? That's one of the ways yeah. I think improve we can get it better. Improve customer service. Improve customer service and improve quality. Because they always say the customer the is always right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We learn that. But me being a black business owner myself, I've had occasions where a, 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 a first time consumer who's who looks just like me is already asking for a discount. Or stop that shit. Yeah. Stop like, that yeah. shit. I'm that. happy you brought that now, up. Yeah. Stop, that. stop that shit. Stop that. Now, stop that. Oh my God. Now, that is, yo. To your point about having to start somewhere. Yeah, there's certain people who would take a Hanes t shirt and press it. And in their mind, it's like, well, I got to start somewhere. But yeah, there's definitely. people who also, before they do that, they go do their homework. They go talk to people like you or somebody that's done it already and say, hey, where did you get that quality kind of shirt? Or how did you get this done? They don't just go 
freestyle everything. If that's something that you really want to do, then you're gonna do your homework. To make sure does, that the everybody doesn't do that, bro. Every, everybody, everybody doesn't, doesn't but do that. Now, black or white, now, everybody doesn't. To do your that. other point, as far as customer service, like you're gonna get that. That's a anyway. lost art. You're gonna get that anyway. From saying, but it just seems as though we catch that slack more in our community because I guess they hold us to a certain standard already. Mm. The outside, you think so? I believe so. It's like they, it's like they put this stigma on us already. Like even to me, like I said, oh, black people when they sell stuff, the other sides will ask for discounts. It happens all the time. I think that's but you're a- not gonna go to a Louis store, a Gucci store, or happy any other that. high I'm high end label that. and go in and say, hey, can you take two hundred dollars off that shirt? You're gonna you're wanna right. spend that nine hundred, whatever, right. whatever much it costs, just to show off that you got money. But you're not gonna spend forty dollars. To buy each one, teach one sweater, or thirty dollars. It's get called self hate, and it's crazy because mm. it's like it's called self hate. It's like you will look better with my thirty, forty, whatever I got on, and look way one better than one. you put on that nine hundred dollar Burberry shit. Just because you can Burberry. only wear one time, one time. Nah, that's that's a that's it's, it's real shit. Like self hate, bro. Like they told. I don't think to, it's self hate. I will tell you why it's self hate. You know why? why? Because it's like you. They've taught us to hate each other, right? Supposedly, mm-hmm. some subconsciously or whatever the case may be, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't they want? Why don't they want to pay that X amount of dollars for that black, um, black owned T shirt or whatever the case may be? Why? Why? Why else don't they want to pay? All for right, it? you want my honest opinion? You both made fucking amazing, phenomenal points, right? Mm-hmm. Malcolm X said, right? You know, I'm a Malcolm X fanatic. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm X said, "Don't shop." Where you won't be hired. Mm. Right? Don't shop where you won't be hired. So what did these people start doing? They, You think like these corporations don't listen to the black leaders that the gods that were getting us with our minds right? Of course. So they were like, oh shit. So they started hiring. Like you remember the, the, the black field people. nigga? And yeah. the house nigga. Yeah. That's a right? Mm-hmm. You remember that? Malcolm X said that too. So what they do, they start hiring people that look like us. So, I changed what Malcolm X said slightly on Instagram last week. I was like, don't shop where you won't be hired Mm -hmm. or valued. Right. Because I could hire you for my business, but I'm only hiring you because I know if I hire you, people from Harlem going to shop there. Mm -hmm. Right. It's chess. In these major corporations, I was that naive 19-year-old working with choice. Mm Mm-hmm. At the time, his name was Tells <laughs> with a Z. Yep. And my name, Els with, with a Z. Z. E-L-Z. That was our work names. That was perfect. Yeah, yeah Tells and Els. Yeah. Like, and, you know, we was the shit at the job. <laughs> I was. already know. <laughs> Saving up three paychecks to go buy a belt. There's nothing wrong with that, I remember that, you though. telling me that story. and I, was I don't like, think there's anything what? wrong Hold with that, on. bro. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. To buy a belt. Then I'm sagging my pants so that belt could show. You're 19 right. years old. So it's like we, <laughs> 19 right? years You're old. Right. Bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? right? <laughs> as a, as a grown man now, right? The people that sold me that belt were laughing at me. They were laughing at me. Of course they were. Cuz they taking your money and like, they know this that this nigga can't afford this shit. Yeah. He can't afford it. And that's why I think we have a responsibility to speak to the youth, each one teach one, right? <laughs> About investing in yourself and investing in your people. Mm-hmm. I say this all the time. Y'all going to get tired of hearing it. Hot Rod has everything I ever put out. He's purchased it. He has never asked me for a discount. Never. At all. Never. My homie Chris, a.k.a. Senor Fresco, you know him yeah, my, because he was guy. a part of the gang with it's us my, at it, work. That's a fact. That's my guy. Has purchased everything. Mm-hmm. Never asked for a discount. Choice. Purchased when I first started really getting to it. it. I, I started, yeah. Never, Never asked, asked for, for a discount. discount. <laughs> I have been doing business with this black-owned boutique. Mm-hmm. You guys probably mm-hmm. know the name by now. The Fashion Library. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing one of their pieces and this hat right now for seven years. Seven years. I have never asked them for a discount. I'm not just a customer. I sell clothes there. Mm-hmm. I'm a partner. I'm a vendor. Yeah. 
if anyone should be asking for a discount, is you. It's but, me. Right. Because I said I help that store make money. Mm-hmm. Right. Because I sell my clothes there. They don't need my clothes. They fucking popping. You see this shit? Yeah. They're my brothers. They embrace me into the business. I should be like, yo, bro, it's me. Like, my there goes my clothing rack right <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Never ask for a discount. It's economics, bro. Mm-hmm. That's but, the reason why I don't ask. You know, it's crazy. Killer Mike said it in one of his um documentary series. He was like, the black dollar only lasts eight hours in our community. Yep. Damn. I believe that. Like, one dollar. We'll spend, like, we'll we'll receive a dollar at 12 in the afternoon, and by eight o'clock, that dollar is going to another community's bank. Chinese food. Chinese Chinese food. Like. Laundry mats. Yeah. Um, shit corner we don't store, own. Shit we don't own. Like, it only lasts eight hours, bro. But we don't have any places to spend the money. Exactly. But that's uh, the thing so is we got to pe- build the community. We, we got we to find a way to come together and and do that. Find pe- like minded people. This this actually with that. It's hard to find that. It's, mm-hmm. it's too much snakes in the grass. But to your point though, I'll say this because I do support a lot of black businesses. I'm I'm all for that's it. That's the only con. Don't forget your thought though. You were right. That's the only con with black businesses. People asking you for a discount. Yeah, customer service is is is. is it's, I mean, it's too, a part bro. of that, but it's people, like at people the end get of the... nasty. People can get nasty. Yeah, people, right. especially yeah, we whew, we can get nasty, boy. Yeah. What I was saying though is like because I like, and this is not my thought. This is this is girl I was talking to about why does she support X, Y, and Z, and she said something that I could relate to. It's like, well, I support a lot of black businesses, so. You can. I think you can do both. Yeah, you know of mean? course. I can, can support black businesses, and I can go buy a pair of Chanel sneakers. You know what I mean for a special occasion. Absolutely. You know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. And the reason why I might do it is because of, yeah, the brand or whatever. But a lot of times the quality. You know what I mean. It, it, it's a quality thing for me, also. You know what I mean. I, I might wear some Chanel sneakers with an E one T one. You know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. yeah. And then I, and then, and then I, I might throw on some gold. You know what I mean. Like all of that stuff. Ain't no black people selling. Ain't no black people doing jewelry stores either. Nah, that's yeah, true. That's true. All, all, when you really think about it, bro, a lot of that stuff comes from us anyway. Like it. Like and I, I don't. I don't want to get too like King like, Tut. I, exactly. I don't want to get too like historian on people. Yeah. But like. The Moors, you know what I mean? If y'all don't know who who those people are, look it up. They brought a lot of the silk and all of that jewelry in the Italy. That's why yeah. Italy is so, oh, he so... Talk, he, he talking some historical shit. You know right what I mean? Like, yeah, that's man. why it's so that's fly. You can go check out Mor- Maury alligators. You know what I mean? Like, it's in the blood to to want to look good and, and to wear jewelry. It's, you want something nice. You like nice. what you like. Yeah. You like what you yeah, like. You see course. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day... If if I if I want jewelry, which I like, I like jewelry more than clothes. Honestly, I gotta go spend that money with, you know, someone that's probably not black, cause I cause I want the jewelry. Nah, yeah. listen, you like what you like. Exactly. I'm not saying to not support. Uh, we gotta survive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what like, I mean? but at the, I'm wearing Vans. I love Vans. You know what I'm saying? You like what you like, but at the at the end of the day, we still have to keep our eyes on trying to level the playing field. Mm-hmm. Don't ask. I'm not gonna ask Ben Fresh for a discount. Yeah, don't ask for a discount. That's it's economics, man. We yeah. gotta level the playing field. Let you that know man what I'm be saying? great. Like, we gotta level the playing field so that the shit that our women are going through, the shit that we are going through, that our kids are probably gonna go through, that stop. we went through, the mm-hmm. racism, the systemic shit, asking for a handout. Nah, son. Guess what? You own a business already. What do you mean, Dad? Oh, so when I was like 27. Started a clothing line. Yeah. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, really? And I'm like, yeah. And I sold it at this boutique that was black owned. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now it's yours. You got to keep it in the family. Got, yeah. We have to start somewhere. We got to level the playing field, bro. Yeah. Because if we don't, a lot of this shit comes from hate. Yeah. Hate. I ain't supporting that nigga, Hot Rod. That's why I said. Because I'm young. Self hate. He got a yeah. He got a clothing line. Fuck his clothing line. That's what I'm saying. That self hate. Self hate. Yeah. And Tell you know me. what self hate turns into? <laughs> you know what? Has, yeah. All right, I'm gonna start with this. Rest in peace, King Vaughn. Yeah, rest in peace to King yeah. Vaughn, man. Somebody else just passed away too. Mo three, the next day, another hip hop rapper. I'm tired. Murdered of this, man. again on camera on YouTube. Yo, right, this, this shit dangerous now, yo. Right, we talk about self hate. Right, dangerous. Rest man. in peace, King Vaughn. To think, man. Two weeks ago, I'm watching an interview, and this dude. He made his first one hundred thousand dollars, 
and split it amongst his crew. Mm. Think about that. My son went MC Hammer on him. How big is his crew, though? I'm not sure. It was probably like 10, 15 people okay. his yeah. day ones. Yeah. Even if he gave me a dollar, that's your money. You don't have to. You don't have to do don't that. Have to. Right. He was the breadwinner for his crew. Then he went on another podcast called Million Dollars Worth of Game with Gilly and shit, right? This mm. is crazy. He Shout passed before they aired the episode. And in a clip, Gilly was like, yo, you shining. You shining, man. I see your chain. I see your homies got chains. And he was like, yeah. I, he was like, of course. If I'm shining, they're going to have to shine too. They're going to yeah. have to shine too. Mm-hmm. I didn't do this by myself. Right. Two days later, murdered. Had Get into a fist fight with another rapper named Quando Rondo. It's on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy too. Like, I've never been a fan of that. Like, putting stuff like that out there. Like remember, remember, remember Labor Day. A lot of times people will get stabbed up and all the stuff. And but it's it's yeah. it's like the foot the camera footage was out there, so it could just be the, you two people yeah, getting the camera footage or people that, from the, this, the this wherever be, it happened. That that should be against yeah. the law, bro. Yeah, it should because be. because you, you, the footage will be out and streaming and 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 get a hundred million whatever hits before they mom and you, even and know. You, and before you get, they mom and, and you even get paid know. off that. How how the stream how the stream is making all of this doing all of this before yeah, I, your mother your family even know you dead yeah, she got to see that yeah. shit on on YouTube that's and crazy that's a whack way to find shit out like you got to find out nah he's nah. a meme yeah. I seen people I seen people like they they got like um um Vaughn packs like yo, that, smoking yo, on Vaughn bro that come yo on, when man. I saw that shit I'm like yo fam, come on man y'all trying to make a quick buck off of somebody's death bro like how low can you go son. How morals? That shit, character, yeah, that integrity. shit don't exist. Shit is, that shit don't exist, bro. Not, 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 not in this day and age. I mean, I hate to say what I'm about to say, you know what I mean? Um, but supposedly, you know, Vaughn was a beast too. You know what I mean? Like he, 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 he put a couple of people on t-shirts too. I That's mean, all alleged. It, we don't know it, that. And even if that That's was all the, alleged. even if that was the case, it still doesn't make it right for somebody. To I'm not use saying your it's name right. I'm not saying it's right. In a way, where I'm trying to make money. What I'm off saying your, is, like, that is, all crazy. of it gotta stop. It, it does. All of it gotta stop. That's Yo. all I'm saying. Rest in peace to that young man. You know what I mean? Yo, we was just last all episode. All of it just gotta stop, bro. Begging for to stop the violence, releasing the stress some other way. Yeah. Read a book. Go to the gym. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We was just talking about that. And it's like, yo, bro, I remember, right, when Pac died, right, the world stopped. Literally. Even Biggie was like, yo, you know, we was going through what we was going through, but I would wish death on no man. That shit was like, what the fuck? And then Biggie died. A rapper died. And mm-hmm. then Biggie died. It's like, yo, yo. One, yeah, yeah, once he passed away, we was like. Right? Now we now, into it. Yeah. Now. Oh. Yeah, the rapper died on Thursday. Oh, another rapper died on Friday. Oh, shit. That rapper died next week. He ain't even died yet. We that's, know he going to die. That's not, bro, that's not he, by coincidence, bro. Is this, bro, bro. It can't yo, be. Is this the most dangerous and violent era in hip-hop? Yes, and I'm going to tell you I why. I am going to tell you why. Back in the days. 50 was rapping about snuffing Ja. He wasn't doing it. But, I don't know about nah, that. Hold on, they didn't have fist on. fights. Multiple think, fist fights. Th- and this, this might be a stretch. But I think it has a lot to do with drugs. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you why. 100%. I'm going to tell you why. And stop me when I cap. Go ahead. During the 90s, we were making music about how to sell the drugs. The dealer. How to hustle the shit. The rappers were the dealers. Yep. Now, not all of them. The, not not all of them, but they were doing. They were smoking woolies like weed and and and. Yeah, coke. Not, nah, but some nah, of them but, was doing but, that too. Don't nah, let them off the hook. Nah, that nah, easy. right now, but for the most part, <laughs> when, when you heard somebody tell their story, they're talking about how they, they sold crack, whack. how they do how like in the project shit like that. Now, rappers are now the consumers of the drug. Yeah. They're talking about how to pop pills, how to drink lean, drink lean, and do certain shit. And <laughs> if you do it over the course of time. Your mental is going to change. Certain things about you are going to change. Like, drugs affect people in a way that is sometimes is even incomprehensible. You know what I'm saying? So, as a rapper who's popping pills, drinking lean every day, spending money doing this thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like you you become, it's a rage. It's kind of like steroids. It, it changes your whole mood. You know what I'm saying? So... I can see why it's become more dangerous because a lot more people are using drugs. Mm-hmm. 
A lot more rappers are taking pills. A lot more rappers are drinking, wilding out until they're fucking brain dead. And this shit is it's sad to see. They bro. And they're dying from the drugs. They're dying too. from the drugs. They, like it's bro, sad they, to they see. Junkies. Bro. That's, that's a good point. We glorified the hustler. Yeah, now yeah. we glorifying the user. The user. That's exactly what's happening, bro. These dudes is young kids, bro, dying like 19 25, years old. 25, 26. That shit never been cool to me, bro. Bro. Never been cool to me, bro. Ever. Yeah, so it's, that... It took me forever to smoke weed. I don't do it anymore. Shit, I still but and it's the crazy, it took me and the crazy part that, about though. this whole shit... We it's, ain't even a drug like that's. Not, I, I know, I was about but to say, like, that's the closest this, thing I could. Yeah. Yo, bro, this whole opioid crisis or whatever is going on, this is happening around the same time weed is becoming legal, and it's like you have access mm. to a yeah, less intolerant drug. They been that allows you shits too. I I get it, but it's like yo, we're Me, giving. We are now giving pills. access to weed. But once marijuana, you, but whatever. Once you, start the, but once you start that though, the opioids, like you were saying, it's like there's no weed way. Is you can't down. go back. You can't step weed down. Weed is to a step that. down. So it's like, all right, weed is like a cigarette to them. It's like a cigarette. It is, and I and I'm a killer stigma now. Weed is not a gateway drug. It never has been. Never will be. If people wanted to escalate their high, it's that's their personal eat. choice. There's no way. Oh, I'm smoking weed. I haven't got high. Like I need to boost my shit up. That's on you. Because if you keep smoking weed, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get higher than that. Level, you're just gonna get tired and lazy you know what <laughs> and hungry like, and hungry. Like you smoke your shit, you feel that buzz. That's it. Y'all want to smoke five, six blunts. They want to smoke. Also, water. there's a lot like, of benefits to that shit too. It's crazy. Oils, the, the oils, Dr. Sebi. I'm telling you, Doctor Sebi was preaching. This shit is shit is crazy. I'm about like, to look into that, man. Look into that, bro. Like not not because I like to smoke weed. I like to have that shit accessible to me. But it's <laughs> it's real shit. Like I'd rather do that than fucking pop a pill, bro. But to to go back to the question, I don't know. I don't want to say yes, but I don't want to say no because it's like when you think about back in the day, mm -hmm. like remember it wasn't no cameras back in the day. You know what I mean? That's one. Number two, okay. if yeah, you say that, that, if you say too. if you say something about like I'll give you an example. I was watching Red Man interview. Yeah, Red Man interview, and he was he. I guess he said something about MC Hammer, and MC Hammer pulled up to his show, hundred deep, up respectfully, a oh, yeah. hundred oh, yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, passing yeah. the bottle around. Oh, so you got to your hundred deep. Yeah, Vis Coquito is in the building. Yeah, pass that down. It's about oh, gosh, pass, <laughs> pass that, that down. down. It's about to get real. I'm a, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just think about little, that, bro. Take a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Pour her up. Vis it wasn't, Coquito. It wasn't no cameras back in the day. People pull up to your show, get it rocking. Sidebar, this shit is valid. <laughs> Shout out Link, to V Coquito. Yeah, man. yeah. Link in bio. Link in bio. Hit my DM. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about to get crazy. I'm Once sorry, you see I'm, this I'm, come out. I'm, I'm sorry, Hot Rock. Yo, my continue bad, your my take, bad, man. Yeah, my bad, bad, bro. We just. <laughs> okay. So, boom. Right? So, boom. There you go. <laughs> back, back to it. Mm -hmm. But for real, it's a lot of depths that we probably didn't even know about. It's a lot of stuff that we didn't know That's about. That's a good point. I think people, it's a possibility that a lot more people died more back in the days because we're able to see a lot more. Like, we don't I'm have able, social media. I, we yeah, have social media back then. I'm able to fact. see the fight. I'm able to see the shooting. You know what I mean? Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's, are we just talking about hip hop deaths? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, what you're saying is a good point. It's, we have more access to see it now, right? Yeah. But I really think this is the most violent generation of hip hop and history. And Choice made a good point. It's possible. I think it's because of the drug abuse. Yeah, mm -hmm. the drugs is fucking the their drug brains. abuse, bro. Now like, I can how I do a song about smoking your dead homie, and then I kill go, you. Go and yeah. then I go do it. And I like this shit is crazy. And then we preaching coming together and stopping. And I get it, yo, in the street life. Certain shit you Some can't, of that stuff come, you can't, come, you back can't from. come back from. You can't come back from. Right. It's hard. You know what I mean? And then I listen to the But I'm heads. disappointed. There's no OGs. Bingo. You know why I'm disappointed? There's no OGs and there's no Big Mama. Mm. You know Ain't why no I'm disappointed? Where are the elder statesmen in music right now to call a stop the violence fucking weekend getaway where there's like a fucking meeting where, yo, everybody come to... As much as listen, and no shade. As much as Diddy like to throw parties, mm -hmm. he needed to throw convention. A convention, mm -hmm. like yo, what are we doing, guys? Yo, every week I just turn on Instagram and there's a dead rapper. I'm gonna tell you why. It's not affecting his bottom dollar. It's not. It's not affecting his bottom line. So he's not gonna really care too much about shit. The reason why that's, is that's, because it's whack to feel that way. But bro, we're if, still, yeah, we're still, we're, st we're still enslaved, bro. And I'm gonna tell you why, right? Back in the days, 
if you try to like revolt, you know, pun intended, because you said Diddy. <laughs> if, you, if you try to revolt, right? Yeah. If you try to revolt, they're gonna they're gonna have a little party, have everybody outside. You know what I mean? Have everybody view you get violated. Why? Because they want everybody to see. This is what happens when you try oh, to. That's kind of like yeah. when the when the slave master would pull out the field nigga. Mm-hmm. And, and and make, make them, an example out of him. Exactly. Yep. Now, fast forward to right now, and I got Crazy. this from um, I think Dr. Umar was watching something. He was saying this. Now, if if you stand out, you know what I mean, against something, uh, you, them endorsements don't come in like they're supposed to. They try to sabotage your career. You yep. see what I'm saying? So yep. it's like, does Diddy want to do that after li- after? Come on, but but. I'm There's not saying a point it's right. where you you get so powerful they can't sabotage you. Who's gonna sabotage P Diddy? Jay Z, the people with power, these are billionaires. Yeah, nothing you can do can hurt me. The people that pay them can sabotage them. Mm. Yeah, I mean the people that pay Jay Z is no his own boss much, though, and Diddy's his own boss. Diddy's his own Respectfully, boss, how did like, how did they get there though? I mean, of course they got there they working rub, under they somebody, elbows but elbows with yeah, the right people, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? You and, and it's like. You, you, I think it's like a starter pack when you once you get to a certain stature. It's like, all right, cool. This is your HR. You know what I mean? Don't I, we don't want you to be seen with this type of person anymore? Mm-hmm. So it's that's like, why I said I'm, if, I'm if it's not you. affecting a bottom line, bro, you, they're bro. not going to put much emphasis on it. It's the like minute, a rich starter pack. The minute pack. it fucks with their money, now it's like, hold on, we got to do something about this because, and that shit is whack, but. That's life, bro. You think people want us to all wake up and, and come together and have our own? Last time we did that, it was an airstrike in Tulsa, Oklahoma, my man. Black I, Wall Street. Oh my gosh! You, you guys oh ever watched the? You, ever, you guys Black ever watched Wall the game? Street. And that's one thing. I, sorry to cut you off. Nah, go ahead, but go ahead. that's the one thing I'm afraid of about. To your point, a few minutes ago about building a black community. It's like once we start doing that. We're going to become too powerful for them to control, and they're going to try to do something. Nah, but in the black community, guess what? There's black law enforcement. There's black people in power. There's people that talk our language. Yeah, yeah. And it it needs to start there. That's how we build up our community. So do you know that we are the only people, like African-American people, are the only people in the United States of America Mm -hmm. that don't have a community in any of the states? None. That's not by mistake. Think about that. That shit is by design, bro. Mm-hmm. Where's the black community in New York? The Our state. The you know what's crazy? We, we have a Chinatown. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world. Facts. There's a Chinatown at least somewhere like in our close vicinity, bro. Outside of New York. And that's crazy, bro. I wish we had that too. Like they have shots. They're not wrong for doing that. Yo, They're building their own community. I, I bet you they ain't, bro. bro. I bet you they ain't vote. No, they probably did, and they probably. I bet you they ain't vote. Why I need oh, to vote shit. for? What What do I need to vote for, bro? Think about it. I got my own my own economy. Why do I need to vote? Yo, bro, I used to go I to. Didn't think I, about that. I used to go to. I used to go to some areas and like flushing and stuff. Go knock on those doors. I know I tell those stories a lot, but it, it's valid what I'm about to say, right? I used to knock on those doors, and they used to, and they and and they used to come, and they would act like they don't. And nobody speaks English over here. None. That's but nobody. And I used to get mad, but now I understand why. You know what I mean? I'm going to spend my money with my community. If I need windows, I'm going to get someone of Asian descent to keep that money in the community. Now I understand why. Yep. Back then, I'm like, fuck, I got to be in Flushing today. Nobody nobody speaks English. Yes, the fuck you do speak English. Yeah. Some of them speak English. You know what I mean? I'd go to, I'd go to you know, certain Hispanic neighborhoods, and they would do the same thing to me. The only difference is I speak a little bit of Spanish. I pull yeah. out some Spanish on them, and they're like, oh, shit, I got to, you know what I mean? No, I'm not interested. You know what I mean? Then it's a little bit different. But I don't, now I don't blame them for it, because they're keeping their money in the community. Yep. Because if that's, if that's what we was doing, then, we'll, then we would applaud our own people <laughs> for yo. Bro, good I'm job. Damn, that, that was deep, bro. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> vote. Like, I, I wonder if I had people, that conversation. That are, people that are secure in their own communities and know anywhere in the world where I go, I can be hired somewhere. Mm-hmm. Do I really need to vote? No. You nah, don't even need to speak English. I would I would say if <laughs> wow. no, Fuck I, voting, nah, I, don't I would say English. if the person Damn, that that's you're a different perspective. Yeah, nah, I can't take the credit for that. I was having a um talk with my man Trav. Mm-hmm. And we use um he he also likes the podcast or whatever salute um, thank so, you so he yeah. fucks with the podcast and um and we was talking about that we was talking about a bunch of stuff but they, it just came in like oh yeah we was talking about that so I just wanted to share that with y'all like think about that some of these people are not voting because they have their own economy how can you affect me if I got my own shit I got you 
you all right. The one thing I could say about Mister Forty Five, I think that's his number. He uh, during his last year of his term, he threw out money to everybody. Talking about it, the stimulus check, not not just that. He gave people opportunity to get loans, and if you want to start a business and shit, like you gave, he gave us that us chance. I was not Bobby us, not money. us as like a specific group, but everybody had that opportunity to do something with that money. So we could vote with, so we could vote. So for I say that to say, for someone who's trying to, like, let's say we all came together as a collective and say, let's build Invest. a community. We all could have took that bread mm. and made something happen with that. Yeah, but guess yeah. what we did with that money? We went, to Gucci. we went to Gucci. We went to the liquor store and started buying 1942 Casamigos. Henny, oh, every day Patron. I saw 1942 like, by bro, Casamigos. Bro, it's like, yo, we was literally Azul, given. Every day. We were given We're the problem, bro. We Sidebar, were given we're thousands problem, of dollars. That's, that's George Clooney's alcohol, by the way. Like, that, oh, that's yeah? the only thing. Casamigos. That's literally the only thing I can't take away from this man. He gave us that opportunity. Choice, Keyword opportunity. Choice, choice. Come on, bro. I, listen, you, I, I'm being. You I'm know calling damn a spade well, a spade. That was an investment. He was trying to buy our votes, bro. But you the, don't but think he was he, trying to buy niggas? He votes? ain't buy my vote. I know you didn't. You but, but what he did was he, he bought, bought, a lot he of bought votes, my though. supplies for my drinks. <laughs> He bought Yo, my man. supplies for my mac and cheese. Yo, man. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't, like, he is who he is. That's whatever. Listen. But I'm not, I'm not going to just going to put him in a negative light 100%. Like, if he did something that personally helped me in a way, I'm, I'm going to acknowledge that. He helped me. He helped a lot of people start their business up. Even if he had an ulterior motive? It's, it's, it's like, listen, I'm a, it's chess, bro. It's like, is, I'm going to do this. Life is so 90% I can get this. what happens and 10% how you react to it. Mm. If my life, if someone presented me an opportunity to get this amount of money and do this, this, and that, what I, I'll be a fool to be like, nah, I'm not going to It ain't work, though. That. You still ain't give them your vote. Still ain't give them your vote, Listen. man. But I'm happy that we got to this point because based off of all of these perspectives, right? And mm-hmm. again, the book ain't here for no reason. Right. Black privilege. So one of our privileges is our dollar. And the fact that the black American spends upwards, upwards, which means that it could get higher than this. Yeah, like three billion of one point seven trillion dollars a year. This you know, is statistics. I'm not just making this you shit know up. What we could do with one point seven trillion dollars. You know what's the problem, and why we can't though is because we got to get so many people on the same page. You know how hard that not, is? You know what's crazy? You don't... Okay, I don't think you need that much people. Yes, you the need, fuck you do. You Half need, of no, no, them, at least. Nah, you need enough yes, breadwinners you, you need enough breadwinners to come together and say, yo, look, we need to build hospitals. We need to build schools. We need to build educational programs. We need to build... You, you know why like, you need those Gyms. People? We need to build... Who's building fucking, that stuff properly? We could find black contractors to do that. Yeah. I got two words for you. Maybe it's one word, but y'all take it how you want it. Sell out. Oh man! Somebody is. Uh, that's the thing, bro. That's how they all. Oh, that's how they shit. all get down. <laughs> Somebody sells out. Somebody. Y'all seen Queen of Slim? Nah, Sell I want to see that I movie. See that. Oh damn! So I can't even. Nah, don't damn. ruin it. Don't ruin it. All right, come back and ruin it. Wait, but, what do you consider a sellout? Yeah. Like, what yeah, is yeah, your perspective yeah, yeah, yeah. of a sellout? I want to hear. That's knows. a good question. Yes. All right, cool. So. In general, or do you mean like no? A in general, what what What's is a sellout? a sellout? Once we figure out what a sellout is, then we can figure out does this person fit that character? Someone that turns their back on their community once they have the opportunity to do something. They're usually someone um, at the job that doesn't have a lot of facial features. They didn't cut off all the facial hair, and their hair doesn't look like ours. That's like. Usually spot when I hate to say that, but nah, you can't that, say that, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 wow, judge me if one of my want. homies. Wow, is, listen, but one hit of my, me out, hit me out. I'm not done, but it's it's so, may, all right, maybe that was that was fine. But that's, <laughs> how, that's how I feel. But, that's how I feel. That's how you know feel. that there was Yo, certain, there was a job, and don't please don't forget your nah, thoughts. Nah, it's, it's stuck. There was a fucking. I remember a gentleman was told, and a few women were told that they had to cut their dreads to be promoted. Like, you don't remember that? That shit is yeah. crazy, like, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, so if you see, like, that's not... And if they cut their hair, does that make them a sellout because I wanted to advance my life? Look, look, listen, listen. Maybe that was a little bit too much, but if you have... I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna I feel like that. if you have enough money to help out the black community and you and you, you forget about us, you a sellout. Lil Wayne... 
to me is a sellout. And we of was, what he and, did. And we were just shouting him out for what he did he, for Jacob Blake. He, he's a sellout. Little yep. pump, little pump. But, is little pump black? I don't know what that dude is. He's yo, a little nah, we got look, oh, we gotta okay. find that out. Yo, no, hold, on. Nah, but, hold on, I gotta find nah. out his descent. Why you find that out? I want to. I want to. I want to speak. You do that, brother. Because, hold like, on, hold bro. on. Before we go into it, I'm pulling the hot rod, yo. I got to use the restroom. <laughs> All right. So this is. Ah, so this is where we put the commercial. Shit about to get real. Ah, he yeah, called yeah. Little Wayne a sellout. Yes. yes. Shit about to about to get real because again, Weezy donated a wheelchair accessible van to Jacob Blake. Yeah, but he also At- but he also said that he can't relate to the Black Lives Matter movement. All right, yo. He also said that restroom too. Break, Just saying. Restroom Just saying. break real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Cut the cameras. This podcast is brought to you by V's Coquito on deck, link in bio, and of course, E1C1 LLC. Also, check us out on all streaming platforms. I'll be back. <laughs> Thanks for watching the E1T1 podcast. This episode is brought to you by E1T1 LLC.com. Some of the dopest hats, shirts, and accessories in New York City. Check us out once again, E1T1LLC.com. Use promo code PERSPECTIVE at checkout, and I got you with 15% off. Peace. Some more, bro. Nah, you man, sure? that is for you, bro. Yeah, I got a lot at the house. This is what I'm saying. I got a lot at the house. This is something his girl do every, like, year. So yeah, like, I got a lot at the house, bro. Nah, I don't feel bad at all. I, I got my, I drank enough this all time. Right, I so take I, his. So I'll yeah, feel it. Ahead, I'll feel ahead, it. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Right, all right, and we're back. Just like that. Bitch. Just like that. We're back. <laughs> Coquito spilling. God damn, we're back. We're back. Let's All go. right. Yes, yeah, bro. Again, I get I could get this anytime. You know what I mean? If you, if you want it. It's homemade. Yeah. It's homemade. Yo, you feel me? 20 cash, you heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send the flyer because we got the henny. She got the henny mm. coquito, but oh, that's see, two for yeah. 55. And it comes with instructions. That's, come on, now. That's and a thank you card. <laughs> and a thank you card for the pod. Again, customer service. Thank you. I, I for mean the support. Cu- customer experience, excuse me. Respectfully. Now, All right. Now, enough of that coquito shit. Yeah. Back to that sellout shit you was talking about. Yeah. I need to know what you feel is a sellout. Why you think it, man, Weez is a sellout? Because- Weez is a sellout because of what he did with Trump, man. Like, like you, you can't like how you go from giving that young man, uh, uh, you know, some equipment to endorsing Trump. Like, when, when have you ever been known for, for political anything? I don't think he was endorsing him. I think, well, he kind of was endorsing. How about him. I say, bro? He was, what? He was. Because he was saying like he has a plan for my people. And we're like, bro, you wasn't even associating yourself with. And what did he say about Black Lives Matter? That he that he that he doesn't relate to it. It doesn't make sense, bro. Like what? It sounds like he got that call. You know what I mean? He got that call. You can say, you can say, if if, if, if they don't relate to me, then it's I'm like, yo, fam, he's an addict, bro. Damn. Goes back to that doing drugs and drinking lean. Even though he he's got not tattoos being violent, on his hands. and that shit fucks with your mental, bro. And it's like you damn. lose Yo, we gotta end off. Yo, we gotta end off entertainment on a high note. Yeah. You feel me? Let's sanitize before yeah, shit yeah, get yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, let's let's <laughs> yeah, we're being responsible. Being responsible. Viewership. Yes, yes. All right, let's end off entertainment, man. We spoke about King Von, man. Rest in peace. And again, we're gonna sing the same song. Stop the violence. Mm-hmm. Stop the violence, please. Big homies in hip hop, elder statesmen. Do something about this shit. Because mm-hmm. these kids are going to keep killing each other. I'm starting to think they just, either they can't or they don't want to. I think it's more so that they can't. Because even if they did say something, they spoke on it. It's going to be good for the next 24 Matter hours. Matter of fact, I think, and I think they that, can't. And after that, it's just back to regular. I really think they can't. Because, like, I remember when I was living back in, in, um, in Flatbush, big homies come home. These little niggas don't give a fuck. They don't have no respect for OGs yeah, like they, that. They don't no give more. a fuck. They beating you up, robbing you. Like not all of them, but like just like you said, I think a couple episodes ago, like you got older niggas calling younger dudes big homie. Like what the <laughs> fuck can I learn from you, yo, bro? Man. <laughs> yo, man. Yo, horn for this. Congratulations to Biggie Smalls being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh yes, Biggie Biggie Smalls, Brooklyn. It's the best times. 
It's about time. It's about damn time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about yeah. damn time. I mean, Shout out my boy go. Shells. Let's go. It's about damn time. It's about damn time. Congratulations, Biggie Smalls, man. We had to end off this uh, music uh, conversation on a high note. So congratulations to him. Also, congratulations to Young Jeezy getting a job at Def Jam, a senior mm. position. A senior position at Def Jam. Congrats. Shout out to Young Jeezy. It's about damn time yeah, for that, man. Too. Also... In a week or so, Young Jeezy versus CI versus. I got Jeezy. Can't ban the snowman. Disrespectfully, I got got Jeezy. Ah. Disrespectfully, you got Jeezy. Jeezy. CI not fucking with him. And I like T.I. music. He just not fucking uh, Jeezy going, it's a landslide. It's, Jeezy a, it's a landslide. Yep. I can't say I don't want to hear no that. pop shit. Jeezy talking on that trap. Yeah. And also, we could have had a Jeezy versus Gucci versus. I wanted that I got, instead. I got, I got Gucci, man. I'm sorry. Nah, but Gucci's I not doing that it. Instead. I think Jeezy said Gucci turned him down, denied. actually. First of all, yeah. Gucci got... Yo, bro, niggas don't Gucci realize got too how, much music, how much of a albums. catalog this he man has, bro. And that don't mean meets. all the music is hitting like Jeezy shit. Don't matter. You bro, have a if he myriad one or two hits. Of, you need 20 each. songs yeah, yeah. off 100 albums. I'm about to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. He got man. the streets, bro. He got options, bro. Oh so, did, so y'all agree Gucci's the king of the South? After, after the argument you made, yeah, I can't... He's the king of the South, bro. Uh, and you know it's a cool... everybody Fun fact. The first person... To have a um a album or I think it was a mixtape called Trap Music was who? Ti. So who really yeah, created trap, trap music? But it's just the title of the album. But does it matter who? Like he introduced it. All right, but he didn't own it. He didn't ca- like Gucci Man, bro. Like nah, Gucci Man was like he made it hot. Made it hot. But who he, started it? He made, he made that shit into his own thing. Like who started he, it? Not Ti. That's album. what I'm saying. But he started I think, it. I mean, we'll, listen. We'll, we'll at see. the end of the day, they if you got hot, other but... people from the south saying that somebody else from the south is the king of the south, self-proclaimed, then that's what it is. Like, so you still think Ti is the king? Of course he is. All right, bet. <laughs> He's all right, bet. You're gonna see when Jeezy <laughs> blows him out. And nah, it's listen, listen. I think it's gonna be a lot closer than what people are anticipating. Like nah. Ti got some joints. It's just he a do. matter of what Gigi's gonna play. Matter of fact, it's so it's, it all it all depends on who starts who starts the round. Whoever plays that first song, because then the person that follows <laughs> up like has rock. to follow <laughs> up with like some fire. Rock. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's so a fact. whoever that's a sets fact. the tone. It's no pressure on them because they setting the tone. It's the person that's coming second. It's like, all right, I got to match up to this shit. Because both of them are going to drop some fire shit. We going to see. I think it's November 18th. But guess what? December Damn. 22nd. Guess what comes back? NBA. NBA. Oh, oh, yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Air horn. Yeah. Air horn. Yeah. You having too much fun with that damn air horn. Hey, yo. Like hey, yo. Kids. Before the season start. Air horn. Before the season <laughs> start. Who you got? I was about to ask. Who you think going to win the chip? Knicks. The Lakers. Said, yo, All right, man, bro, let me stop. Like, I'm just a Hey, yo, episode over. <laughs> we done. That's it. <laughs> nah, I think Lakers going to repeat. You think nah, so? I, I mean, the, the Clippers still look good. I'm, I'm going with the Lakers. I'm waiting. I, don't, I hope they don't get DeMar DeRozan. Though. I don't um, want him to come into the I team. I am waiting. Why? Because, because he's still not a still, shooter. Nah, there's still moves that need to be made. Oh, yo, speaking of that, there's shooter. still moves that need to be Russell made, Russell Westbrook requested, allegedly, a trade already. Oh, that's not alleged. One year, I already he know. Did, he did. Because he, he, he doesn't want to play with James Harden. I think he's going to go to the Knicks. I think that was planned. I think he he might go to the Clippers for nah, Paul George. I ain't going to hold you. Paul Swap. George? I think, I don't think, I think it that. was planned but for a different reason. I think Russell Westbrook and James Harden came together and said, look, we're going to try to win a chip this year. If it doesn't work out, yeah. we're, we're, we're both out. Okay. Because not for nothing... That's why I thought, Not too. for nothing, Dan Tony. I always felt that Tony was never the right coach for that. He should team. not be an NBA coach, bro. No, 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 no. He's terrible. No, he, no, no. He should be an NBA coach. It's just his main flaw is defense, and he killed that. And he should be an NBA coach. Be- <laughs> nah, but how not, your flaw is defense? Nah, I was about to say he. he bro, he, come nah, on. I was about to say he killed that stigma in the playoffs. Like he was actually outscoring teaching this, outscoring and playing hard. I've I've never seen James Harden play more defense this year I've ever seen in my life. Who else played defense on that team? Uh, PJ Tucker, and he was their starting center at six eight. There was no way you're gonna win <laughs> against a high. That's a high, not the question. No that's way, not the question. Right? That's, that's not the question. There's him. When they had Clint Capella when he was on that team, he was playing defense. He, he was one of their better pick and roll defenders. Russell Westbrook be iffy at times. Like if he's going up against a high caliber point guard, he's gonna step up. 
He's going to play hard defense. Exactly. Gonna They're going to exchange points, but They're the gonna defense is going to be basura. Yeah. They're always going to be on the bottom half. Come on, that's, bro. That's a fact. Now, I got an interesting thing to bring up, though. James Harden to the Nets. Aye. Nah, come on. Yo, I Nets. saw that. I ain't even got to watch first basketball of all, no Nets. more. First, nah, first oh, of all, wait, my Kyrie how, and KD. First of all, how, how is that going to work? <laughs> oh, my God. How is that going to work? Very simple. No, I mean, like, Very simple. financially. How yeah, is that going to work? It's impossible. I mean, look. I, I, look they make too much this money. Is, this is fantasy. We talking fantasy now. You Bro, know what I mean? Kyrie, but hypothetically, if, Kyrie, if that, if you mean James how is, Harden. And Kevin Durant on all the they same got, bro, team. All they got to do, bro. I, I need tickets. All, <laughs> son, all they got to do, ready. Bro, yo, all they got to do, bro, is James Harden has to find a way to understand, like, look, you're not the fucking point guard, bro. And Kyrie. Um, is whoa, have to pass the James ball. Harden will be the point guard of that team. Over so Kyrie? Kyrie Hell be? yeah. Are you dumb? Hell yeah. Are I'm gonna you, tell you dumb? Why. Kyrie, hold on. I will say this Kyrie is has the best skill set. I've ever seen from a basketball player. <laughs> yo, he reminds that's, me. That's he, crazy. Nah, yo, he he he, he reminds people, me. He's a street ball player. Uh, bro. Yeah, he, he reminds me of skates. Allen Iverson, but his ability to stop and his go. His ability to st- yo, bro. Like, his ability nah, to, Kyrie to stop the best and hand go. Hand go. Of all he has time. the best hand of all time. I wouldn't say all that's, that's time. A, that's a different conversation. No, no, he's top three. That's a Kyrie is better, bro. Iverson. Bro, your man Kyrie no, 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 got no, no, better no. handles than bro, Allen Iverson. Your man cost the Kyrie whole, has better handles he than Allen up Iverson. The whole Olympic team. Yes, I saw it. He's done that, that to regular one, teams. That one little strip, boop, 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 crossover, pass Kobe, pass LeBron. I've pass seen Nolo. him do it. He went through the whole squad. Kyrie bro. got a better handle than Allen Iverson. I, I, he does. I disagree. He does. Allen Iverson just had that killer crossover that couldn't be stopped. Kyrie got, Jordan, Jordan, got, Jordan, Jordan got caught get, in the mix. Let's, let's not get stuck in that. Let's not get stuck in that. Let's not get stuck in that. But I will say this. Kyrie can't be the point guard. Yo, I got to I'm going to tell you why. James, Har- James Harden is a shooting guard, bro. Exactly. But James Harden averages more assists than Kyrie, number one. Number two, and more importantly, Kyrie was always a two. It wasn't until LeBron came back to Cleveland. until Like, like he came back to Cleveland. LeBron was the point guard of that team. If he's a Kyrie, two. Kyrie, you're my shooting guard. I don't give a fuck if you're the one on the depth chart. You are my. I'm going to set you up. Kyrie needs somebody that's going to set him up. He can't do it on his own. He can't do it on his own. It's just your team is not better off that way. It's a proven fact. You're off the team. Teams play better without you. All right. I because feel because that. of the of the passing. Right. Because of the passing, your ability. Because you could average eight assists a game, but those those eight assists could be ghost assists. It's just that don't really mean nothing. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Garbage time. Garbage time. Because you could be in one of those crucial situations. Kyrie wants the ball in his hand. He wants to take over the game. He he's he's a closer, bro. He's a closer. I'm about to but put now you have now you right have KD now. right now, and and Kyrie he has to defer for some weird reason. He has to said, defer. Kyrie said, and I quote: "KD is the best teammate I've had that I could defer to." Shots at LeBron, but yeah, right, no, exactly. no, no, but that's true. Hold Go on, time out. That's kind of true. I'm gonna tell you why it it's is true. true. Let me tell you why it's true. Simply for the fact that he can garner so much fucking attention mm-hmm. when he goes to the hole. And then you have the combination of KD being open. That's wet. Sharpshooter. That's yeah, wet. Yeah, yeah, but yo, yeah. but that yo, LeBron but, don't bro, have that. But that left-handed hezzy, <laughs> that's impossible to guard nah. with KD, bro. You're seven feet tall and play like a guard. Bro. I'm about to put y'all both on the spot real God, quick. Right? I gotta elbow him. Or and if James man. Harden <laughs> go to the Nets, I'm not watching basketball. No, I'm, 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 oh, no, I'm going to watch. I'm going to go buy some bro, Nets it's, it's tickets. E- it's equal. If they let us in, because it might be a bubble. Fuck yeah. Might be a bubble. But yo, I got a question though. T Mac or Carmelo in their prime? Mellow. In their prime? Mellow. In their prime? I'm Mello. going T Mac. I'm going T Mac. I'm going T Mac. I'm going to say he's going with he's going with Carmelo because no, the bully ball. No, no, the bully ball. No, respectfully. T-Mac or Carmelo in their prime. I was a prime. big T Mac fan growing up. He's my favorite player to watch. I was a Kobe guy, but I respect. I seen him drop 13 T-Mac. points. No, like like 13 points in like nine I seconds. never seen nobody seconds. beat the yeah, beat the Spurs. I've seen that. Like I'm that. with Hot Rod. T-Mac. I've seen that. T Mac. Over but, Mello in his prime. Bro, he's like, bro, Mello? he's like, he's like Kobe. Him, all right, all right. So let me ask like, you a question. He's like a taller Kobe, bro. All right, so let me he ask you a question. Everything yeah. Kobe can do. All right, so, all right, so let me ask you a question. Just but the men's one healthy. on exactly. one, one on one, T Mac prime versus Mello prime. Who wins? All right, I'm gonna the say. The fact that y'all sitting there taking on, too long, out, you should have said T Mac. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet on T Mac. But the reason why I could see why I could see. I can bully see ball. Bully ball. All I got to do is back you bully down. Like, Mello, you yo, know what I mean? Melo can score 
And just like KD, KD can score anywhere on the floor. Melo can do the same thing. He's just he, not, he's he just not a better three-point shooter. He was the easiest scorer before um, Durant came in the league. Yeah. He was, yeah. It, it was just it was just too easy for him to score. Yo, then we got LeBron to said he was, he's his toughest cover. A lot of people said Melo is. Kobe said that too. Kobe said, yo, he's my toughest cover, because bro. Because he can do a lot of stuff that they can do, and then he just and got his, to wait. And his footwork. Yeah. His footwork yeah, his is footwork impeccable, is, bro. Yeah. When he back you down, you think he's going to do that little spin-off? He's going to do a spin-off. I'm still with a taking T-Mac. I can't, I'm going do I can't do yo, that. I can't do that, comment, Yo, in the comments, let I'm us know T-Mac. who I'm you would take. T-Mac. T-Mac or Carmelo Anthony. Are you going to listen to he Choice? Can lock him up. Listen to Choice. And the voice hold of reason, on, wait. Bro. Wait, wait. Tell me. Tell me. The voice of Melo don't play no defense. T-Mac don't play defense either. Nah, but he's a better defensive player than Carmelo. He is? Yes. T-Mac don't play no goddamn defense. Melo don't play no defense. And Melo don't play no defense. Melo... No, when T Mac played defense, he got no hurt. Defense. Look, Melo don't play no played defense. T Mac played defense, he got hurt. If I, yo, I'm betting on T Mac. Better defense. I'm taking T Mac too. Yo, viewers, supporters, oh, comment. Maybe because who I'm y'all a huge, taking? I'm, Carmelo or T Mac? And Melo's one of my favorite players prime. too. I'm a Melo fan. I guess I'm being biased, right, but, but before fam. before we get into the shits, <laughs> this shit is popping. <laughs> Link in bio. <laughs> <laughs> before we get into the shit, though, yeah. one more question, right? Who y'all favorite player? Oh, oh, damn, it is hitting. Is it, it, it is it. Who your favorite player in the league right now? That's Russell tough Westbrook. for me. <clears throat> Westbrook? Westbrook. Mine he, is Dame Dollar. Damian Dame Dollar. Lillard. If I had to choose, uh, I'd probably go yeah, with that, Kyrie. That's a good Kyrie. choice. Oh, I, all our players is point guards. Because they're fun to watch. And that and that speaks to how great the league is. Damn, today. Westbrook's your favorite player right yeah. now? I'm going to tell you why. Why? Why? I'm going to tell you why. He, He's not emotional, though, man. I could give. I, I like the emotion. I don't give a fuck about that. Great, I, you know thank I mean? you. Great and emotion is di- it's two different things. Bro. All right, all right. You can't control your emotion. No, I can no, play to your emotion. No, because Charles oh, Oakley okay. was the I'll same get, type of nigga. I'll, I'll get no. That's different. Emotion. That's different. Grit, and I'm gonna beat you. If you foul, if you foul, if you foul, you in. Come down this way. I got something for that's you. That's different. That's different. What you mean, Russell? The same Russell's way. He, not he, doing he, that. he attacks the game the same no, way. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> no, nah, bro. man. Yo, he does yo. not attack the game the listen, same way, when bro. I see, when yeah, I see Russell... Getting lit in the no, sports listen, section. When I see his Russell, emotional intelligence is higher. Like, he can control his emotions better than Ru- Russell Westbrook can. All right, you cool. Can get, you can get him in his bag. All right, cool. But Russell, hey, lucky you I'm can't deny. Man. You can't deny because you always ask players to play your heart out. Yeah. Like, p- leave everything on the floor. Russell is the only person I've seen in recent memory that does that. And I can't that argue plays that. that way. Like I can't argue that. You know, when he gets if he if he steps foot on that court, you're gonna get a hundred and ten percent from him every time, whether he's up by twenty or down by fifteen, bro. And if you got a guy like KG in the league that's gonna get in his air and fuck with his head, his game is gonna be that, fucked up. See, speaking of KG, shout out to him. He's one of the most I don't want to say underrated, not underrated, but he's not mentioned a lot as when greats. it comes to like great power forwards. Now nah, he should be. He, he definitely should be. should be because not for I'll him. take him before Tim Duncan. I, that's why I have to stop you, bro. <laughs> I would. I would That's too. Mr. Fundamental. Mr. Yeah, I'm calling yeah, for choice. Mr. Yeah, I'm calling choice. bank shot. Like, nah, I take. Oh, listen, boy. we could save that debate because we already said T Mac over Melo. You I just prefer. Yeah, so I prefer, prefer Tim, KG over Tim Duncan. I prefer. All right, cool. So, so I, real quick before we real quick. Before move on, right? You guys remember Streets Volume 2, right? Yeah. The, yeah. The, I'm gonna tell y'all my squad, right? Game of I'm, all gonna, time. I'm gonna tell y'all my squad, right? You know when you play the um, where you could pick like three on three and yeah, whatever. Yeah, three on yeah. three. It's my my three right here, unstoppable. I don't care who you pick, you not beating this three right here. NBA streets. I got him. Kobe. Uh huh. Right. Garnett and Shaq. Mm. Kobe yo, Garnett yo, bro, and Shaq. Bro, 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 yo, man, Kobe Shaq, Garnett and Shaq. Shaq are, are you is dumb? a fucking bro. You can't stop him. Shaq is the most dominant player in the game, like ever. Ever. Like, he's literally what three seven is something, at? 300 plus pounds. Shaq don't get a lot of respect. What you mean? In the league, as far as like one of the greatest. He, he like, do, no, he, no, 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 no. He, he is. He, no, he, he's considered the oh, most dominant. Players. He's considered the most dominant center of all time. And he is. Nobody was as dominant. The as only he thing, is. if he made, if he made over more than half his free throws, he would be on that all time scoring list a little and bit. And his work ethic. Than that. If yeah. it's yeah, yeah. And too. and not for nothing. So 40, 20, and not 10 for guys nothing. He he also. Is he was also a pop culture figure. Remember, mm-hmm. he made video games. Yeah, yeah, movies. He did movies. He was a rapper. Sneakers. Oh yeah, he dropped. 
He dropped. He dropped that album. I think that yo, shit went was gold viral. and platinum or some shit. Like he, he was, was viral. Yo, <laughs> it was viral. Yes, yes. He was pop culture. Nah, yo, like, this sports who, battle who, has been popping. Who was? Yeah. Who was your three club. though? Who was your three in streets? My three in streets. If if someone was to pick Shaq, no, I no, always no, no. had hold to on, pick Ben on. Wallace. Because okay. everybody picked Shaq. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Ben Wallace was the equivalent because, like, yeah, your, your, your power's on five, your block is on five, too. So I, I got a match. Ben Wallace was a good yeah. center. Yeah. He's not I would scared. Pick Allen He's Iverson. Shorter. I would pick Allen Iverson. I'm a dog him with Kobe. I would pick T-Mac. Mm. KG's going to dog him. No, he's not because I'm going to cross him up every time. I'm going to dog him, bro. KG, KG. All right. Your team is You're going to have to deal with crazy. Based. So all I got to do is stop KG Kobe KG has some scoring. handle, too. KG has some KG handles. Got handles, but I can trick count it out. Yo, before we go on to the OD segment, like yeah. I like this debate. I like y'all thought processes. Right? Wait, what's yours though? We need yeah. yours. Damn, I forgot we... NBA streets, but if I'm thinking that Three far players? back, I know for a Remember, fact 04. Tracy McGrady's in it. So T Mac, that's off the rip. Mm-hmm. T Mac, because that was like that was my guy. Mm-hmm. Maybe Steve Francis. Mm. The handles. Steve Francis, T Mac, and my big man. Damn, who would be my big man? Yo, who was I really rocking Matter with? Matter of fact, finish that thought. I got a question for you. you about to switch Matumbo. It up. Matumbo. Okay, it can't cool. be Matumbo. Okay. All right. Nah, I was going to say, because I, I like to play with the legends, too. Oh, okay, okay, So cool. who was your legend team? My legend team? All right, cool. Who was your legend team? So I'm, if I'm going to start with my point guard, right, it's going to be... Damn, this is always the hard part for me because it's, it's either Jeff Hornacek or John Stockton because that shot. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, no, no. I'm talking about the legends that were in NBA Streets Volume Two, the we available ones remember. that was in there. I remember. I don't remember. I'm not I don't remember you, my team. I, I don't man. remember. But Magic I'm about, Johnson, uh-huh. Larry Bird, mm. Bill Russell. That's some old. Mm. His squad is wild, cheap. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 if I wanted the front, I'm picking Chocolate Thunder, Daryl Dawkins, <laughs> because he had he had a specialty dunk. That if Bring you try to step in front of me, down. I'm going to slam it on your face, bro. Like the doom. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah. yeah, it is unblockable. Unblockable. I mean, I, I'm gonna get back to you. Who's a better dunker, Sean Kemp or Vince Carter? Vince Carter. What are we? What are we talking about here? Yeah, Vince Carter was the best. What? Dunker He's of the all best time. dunker of all time. Anybody you put up against him? The only person that the only person that could compete with him. What? What? What stigma? That's my first time hearing that. What he said? Carter was supposedly, supposed allegedly was doing what? This is my first. What? Yo, this is breaking me. news. This is breaking wait, news. Wait, 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 wait. You say he was doing steroids? Nah, not steroids, man. He's putting something in his knees to make him jump higher. Fam, your man played through four decades. <laughs> you believe it? He changed. Hell no. He changed the game. Yeah, he, he changed his game. What about after he left the Nets? He wasn't a high flyer yeah, no more. Yeah. People forget he played for the Nets. He what played about, with Jason Kidd. Like, no, nah, no, nah, I remember that. He was on. He was on the um, same team with with T Mac too. If they would have kept those two, they were cousins. Ooh, they yeah. played on the Raptors together. Ooh. And not for the Vince Carter was like, yo, bro, I want, I want you. I think the story was they wanted to play with each other, but T Mac wanted bro. the money. Financials. T Mac wanted the money. Can't be he mad at that. Can't and be mad that at team that. at that time. Which is now in 2K now, starting for like three years ago. That team was was fun to watch, bro. You and know it's who don't fun get to play with too in 2K, like the Duncan T Max <laughs> shooting ability when he was young. Yeah, you yeah. know who don't get a lot of credit too sometimes for they for they hops. Iguodala. A lot of people. Iguodala is re- a solid player. <laughs> a lot of people man. remember him for other Iguodala's, stuff. I'm sorry for bringing up 2K, but his dunk package was like you don't do that shit in real life. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? But then, but then I saw him in a dunk cousin. I said, you know what? That's he why they that did that. He life. does that shit in real life. All right, <laughs> it's time. Yo, where did the time go? So it's time, time for the we shits. Out of, we out of drink. Hopefully, it kicked in enough. Yeah, no, nah, I definitely kicked in. We, we, we man. <laughs> Anyone need to use I, the I restroom? I, nah, nah, I'm, I'm straight. We good. We it's, straight now. We I good. think it's, I think it's, it's just enough. I mean. Like the coquito, I think it's just yeah, enough. Yeah, like I'm not, yeah. you know what I mean? Nah, like it's just all right, enough. Good. I could body that bottle by myself. Oh, absolutely. Facts. Don't worry. It's on deck. It's, it's on, on deck. deck when you're ready. <laughs> when you're ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the OD segment. <laughs> mm-hmm. For those who don't know, because we may get people viewing us for the first time, where we come from, we say shit like, yo, that's OD. Or, yo, you OD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, bro? You OD. Yeah. But we switched it up a little bit. OD doesn't mean out of this world. Oh, yeah. For us, it means open discussion. Open right. discussion. You feel me? 
And as of late, the OD segment has all like been relationship shit, mm-hmm. funny shit, hot rods known to get spicy. Uh-huh. Choice had a viral moment. Like, what the fuck you talk about? Like, the <laughs> yeah. OD segment yeah. is fire. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's also informative. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> so we came up with a few, you know what I'm saying? A few questions. And then <laughs> the other night, I had a coquito party at the house. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my homie Diddy came through. Right? Mm -hmm. Shout out to my nigga Diddy. And that's my brother. Y'all all all know Diddy. Y'all my brothers. So Diddy came through or whatever. So we drinking, you know, trying to not be annoying because my girl's in the bedroom studying. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I was like, yo, fuck it. Let me not. Let me turn this music off. Let me turn on TV. So we turned on the TV and shit. And we were watching YouTube Mm -hmm. and drinking Coquito, Hennessy, just shooting the shit. And then a TK Kirkland interview came up. Mm Mm-hmm. For those who don't know T.K. Kirkland, Mm -hmm. he is a comedian from back in the N.W.A. days and stuff like that. And he's still a comedian now Mm -hmm. or whatever. Right. So we yo, we was laughing so hard. My girl came out the room like, dude, I'm studying, babe. I'm like, I'm sorry. That's not me. It's T.K. Like, (laughs) like, (laughs) homie blamed it on the pod. Or TK. I was like, yo, I've got to talk about this. And Diddy was like, yo, make sure you talk about this in the OD segment. I'm like, damn. Diddy tuned in. Yo, so TK Kirkland was like, yo, like he's a firm believer, right? That if you don't have $25,000 saved up, you shouldn't be fucking raw. (laughs) $25,000 saved up. I mean, I kind of understand it. He said you should not be having unprotected sex. If you don't have twenty five thousand dollars saved up, because the child support line is longer than a Chris Brown concert. Oh, <laughs> nah, he was joking. Wow. I, I I disagree. All right, I disagree for uh, um many reasons. <laughs> um, I disagree. Joyce is speechless. <laughs> Look, Joyce- <laughs> for those of you wow. who do not know, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> Joyce is speechless. Look, Katie, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> when, it, when it comes to when it comes to raw sex, yeah. right? Like, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Don't get it. Cancel. Look, raw sex is like the 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 hidden character that you gotta unlock oh, wow. in the video game. Like that shit is a whole different level <laughs> of bag. That's number one. Number two, I mean, t- on a more serious note, yeah, right? Yeah, like, I would, <laughs> like twenty five thousand. Like twenty five k to, to, to yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, on to a feel condo, the man. Sense. <laughs> that shit, man. I don't have twenty five thousand. First of all, look. <laughs> I'm putting on. <laughs> yo, you see, that's how real it is. That's what you get. That's yo, what you get. That's what you get. What the fuck was that's that? That's what yo, you get. I was, like, oh, I was shit. satanic shit. That's what you get. Oh, sick like in the shit. Yeah. I was like, damn, son. I'm going to high 25K. Yo, 25K. Look, it's, it's... he should have said, listen, if you're practicing sex, use protection. Mm-hmm. But he was just like, nah, fuck that. Yeah, then he said some shit like, I have four kids and I wish I wore protection. Yeah, but look at him though. Like he's 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 TK Kirkland. Like, you know Man. what I mean? It's more people looking to put him in, in child support than me, I would assume. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? That's yeah, that's yeah. number one. And it's like, what if I wanna have kids? You know what I mean? What if I wanna have kids? Oh, I'm oh, 32 years old now. Nah, like, what if I, mean, I wanna what, have kids I mean, in the next yeah. couple of years? I see what he's saying. Like, like he was like, I, me too. He was like, I see what he's he saying. said his exact words is like these young niggas out here just fucking. Mm-hmm. Like fucking everyone left and right. No money in the bank. Mm-hmm. Who wants to be old and not able to like, you know what I mean? Nah, like play but, with their kids but, but and who like want, enjoy the who, who wants to raise a child and struggle? Like I see what he's saying. Like, yo, if you're gonna struggle, you, no, you know, not like if you're gonna do that, make sure you got something like to hold you financially because babies aren't cheap. Yeah, that's, that's what he was saying. Yeah, babies aren't cheap. But Raising that's, that's children like, is not cheap, bro. That's like, like with anything, though, bro. It's course. never going to be the perfect time for anything. Never. You just no, got to... Not, but I see what he's saying. These guys are like, just having kids by accident, is what actually, he was saying. He said, if, if, oh, okay. if, if it's, like, if it's a situation where it's like, <laughs> I'm planning <laughs> this... Then, 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 yeah, I agree with yeah, him. Yeah, you're not fucking raw if you don't got bread saved up because shit happens. First of all, you need... It's got to be the right woman, too. You can't be fucking raw. Of course. Of course. It's a lot of variables that go into that. But I see what he was saying. Like nah, this shit is not. If you accidentally, easy ride, bro. you know what I mean, having kids, then some, some, yeah, somebody gotta have you, you have just, a sit down you're talk just trying to. You. You're bugging. Yeah, I got you trying to expand your legacy or some shit. Like I don't know, bro. Like <laughs> yeah, he's bugging. But the 25k part, he's. I was like, I was like, God damn, but he wasn't talking about like niggas like us that are like in relationships and 
want mu- like you talking about the eighteen year olds out here just having unprotected sex, yeah. less than letting right. it off. <laughs> They, that's what they doing. They letting it off, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying they're young, they, they dumb, and full of off. cum, but they <laughs> it's just connecting, ruining yeah. their lives and shit. Yeah, and then yo, we was dying, and then that shit had like then when my shorty heard us laughing, she came out like, yo, what's so funny? Mm-hmm. So then we she joined in on the conversation and shit, right? So um, we were talking and she a uh, conversation of blended families came up, mm. blended families, and basically saying like, let's say right. Because I want your perspectives on this. Mm-hmm. My perspective, y'all both know me very well. So, let's say you were married. Mm-hmm. You were married with your uh, your wife. Mm-hmm. Y'all had children together, right? Y'all divorce. Mm-hmm. You remarry. Mm-hmm. Your wife remarries, mm-hmm. right? And then one day, your wife calls in and goes, Hey, I was talking to our son. And he wants to go on vacation. But he wants dad there. Right? <clears throat> cool. But then she goes, I'm bringing my husband. Mm-hmm. So, you know, bring your wife. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no. <laughs> like me. I was like, no. First yeah. of all, why are you thinking about divorcing me? We ain't even married yet. Right, and we yeah. started laughing. And she was like, no, I'm being honest because people don't ask these questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's, we don't know if shit's going to work out. But I, she's like, I should be able to want to take a vacation with you and the kids. And if you're a new person and my new person. And I was like, absolutely not. You know what? You go with your people, nah. then I'll go with my you know people. What? Nah. I'm not that mature yet. I was just about to say, that, that's, that's a sign of maturity because... So you would go on a vacation with your ex-wife and her new husband, with your new wife, with your kids. After together. how long? It's my kids. Like I, I wanted, After how long? It's my mm. kids. Nah, fuck for fuck, me. Nah, it's time, time, bro. Fuck nah, the time, time matter, bro. For I'm, me, because <laughs> when it's fresh, I'm not gonna. Nah, fresh nah, I ain't not. Okay, you. okay. Like, I see what you like, saying. Like, this when fresh, it's fresh is like, like, and when I mean, like, it, it, son, when it when it come to my feelings, like, I'm gonna tell you something about me real quick. Right? Yes, sir. Go like, ahead. Like, I used to be a very arrogant, super confident, cocky. I'm still some of those things, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not arrogant. Yeah. Arrogance is a is like a different. When I think of arrogant, I think of Cameron. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And Cameron was one of my favorite rappers. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. And we kind of the same sign too. So mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So I kind of not that I wanted to be like him or whatever, yeah. but I kind of was like him a little bit in some regard, mm-hmm. right? So like, I used to like you know what I mean have multiple you know I was single a lot basically. Okay, you feel me? I was single a yeah. lot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. When I started to like, all right, cool, let me slow down and start like talking to one female. And then I realized, like, damn, this is probably why I didn't do this shit. Because <laughs> cause I get so invested and it's like, if it don't work out, I'll be a little salty. You know yeah. what I mean? The reason why I'm so salty is because I don't have the experience in relationships. Mm. I was just out here doing me. It's like, oh, you want to act up? All right, cool. No, you're not coming Deuces. through? Deuces. Deuces. I'm going to hit up my other joint. Yo, what you doing? Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I didn't, Yo, you I'm, toxic, but go ahead. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying. Yeah. That's what no, I was doing. With you. That's yeah. what I was doing at a point in time. So now that, I, you know what I mean? I want to say I started... <laughs> Damn, I started around maybe like 26, taking relationships serious. Yeah, that's the age. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. So, so something like that, I need to know what time. Is it like, are we talking about two months? Nah, uh, like, let's say, let's first say of all, months, First of all, if you divorce and you marry months? in two months, I'm going to look at you. No, no, no. Like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? All right, like, let's say, right? So it happens. So let's put an age on the child. Uh, you and your wife. I need the specifics. Divorced when the child was five years old. Mm-hmm. And now it's the child's ninth birthday. And, and, and the child wants to so go. So five years later. Five years later. About four or five about years, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, five, four or five years later, she, he, the, the child's like, I want to go on vacation and I want to go with my mom and dad. And the only way that, you know, the mother agrees to go is if she could bring her new husband. Mm-hmm. And then I would bring my new wife or you guys would bring your new wife. Two things. One, that shows growth between mm-hmm. the ex-wife and you two for even agreeing with that. Number two, and more importantly, it's your child. Your child asks for you to be there. So this is not about my ex-wife or me bringing my new wife to try to show off. I show off like I got, a, I got, I got a new babe. Like fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm saying like this is about my child. Hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying like yeah, yo, this is about stop with the air. <laughs> nah, that shit is that is real talk. Like yo, even, yo, the mature guy in the fucking yeah, room. Man. Like, yo, bro, like, it's about it's about my kid. If I, if my kid wants me to go out there, I'm gonna spend my vacation 
with him or her. Like, it's going to be just us. Like, y'all can have y'all new marriage. Y'all could do what the fuck y'all want to do. But when it's family time, I'm there. it's family time. Mm. From saying, if he wants mom and dad there, mom, bring your ass. I'm gonna be here. We're gonna we're gonna play house. We're gonna play house. <clears throat> with, That's what the with child your wants. New wife and with her new husband. Yup. After I, five years, I'm bro. Like that. <clears throat> it's been five years, bro. Fuck it. Now five Why months. Why not? Nah. Listen. At the end of the day, I got I, I gotta respect that because you called me, knowing that we're divorced or whatever, but you're keeping my child child's interest in mind. <laughs> That's cool. So, That's good cold. So it's like I had to look at you. It was like, you know what? I got you. And you want me to bring my wife too? So that's you showing maturity. Like I could deal with watching you do your thing. <laughs> and I could do my thing too. Like, fuck it. Like I'm Tom with my Hill's old, wife. bro. Tom Hill's Tom a lot. Tom Hill's old. You know what I'm saying? It's like end of the day, the it's end. still family. I'm still with I'm getting the best. I'm I'm with my wife, my new wife. And I'm with my child. I can't. Beat I'm, that. Not <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going. After five years, not going. Oh, in the words of choice, dub. It's dub. <laughs> bro, that's dub. crazy. Listen. I mean, after five years, dub. Look, bro, Listen, there's man. no way you hold a grudge longer Listen, than me. Son, no. I love you. I, I, I listen. I love you, and I wish I could go on vacation with your mom and her man. I'm not going. going. So, <laughs> so hold on, wait. Let's say it was, it was. Let's say it was just like, oh, damn. You probably gonna say no to it to this, but whatever. Nah, go ahead. Let's say it was just you, the baby mom, and and the child. So I said You're still the not same, going. No, no, I said the same thing. Yeah. I was like, listen, if I'm remarried and you remarried, I'm gonna have that conversation with my wife. Like, listen, my son or my daughter, you has to do that. Wants to go on vacation mm-hmm. with me and his mom. Mm-hmm. You're my new wife. You trust me. I'm not scum, obviously. And she's n- newly married. Right. It's going to be separate bedrooms. My son or my daughter is going to stay with her. Mm-hmm. And then every morning we'll link up, have breakfast. Boom, boom, boom. Obviously, I need to be with a real secure woman. To, yeah. And she needs to, to have a real secure, secure man. I was about to say, like, like they yo, had that conversation with Chief. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? All right. So, wait, <laughs> you rather do that? Yeah. yeah. You'd rather do that. So, yeah. so you'd rather have that bro, dialect. That You're bugging. It's for my son. Bro, he, he's going to line himself up, bro. Facts. You think so? Your Facts. man just You're said. You're going to clap the cheeks. Come on. Your man <laughs> just said. The I'm, about to, I'm about to have a conversation <laughs> with my wife to take my ex-wife to a vacation I'm because not taking her nowhere. my son what do you no, mean? I'm just saying no no that's my son no y'all wants us y'all to are, be y'all are going on a vacation together yeah. Yeah. somebody yeah. take somebody that's just what it is yo you're going to clap you're going to tell me no, yo, you're yes, going to have you a are. conversation God. yes you are bro this man is lying bro, bro just if, you're going to have a conversation don't, just with don't your, go bro. with your new just wife don't go Talk about, you're going to have a conversation with your new wife saying yo I'm going to go out with my ex-wife because my kid for my son's birthday cuz my son's birthday because he wants us to go in Aruba in Aruba and I'm a, I'll just I'll make sure I yeah, call you every time. That is not going to happen, You're going to clap the cheeks, boy. You're, yeah. the cheeks, bro. You're going to bust that ass. What? I'm sorry. Bro, I'm married. Ni- I'm sorry. I'm Son, remarried. Niggas be fucking their baby mom. Bro. It doesn't matter. You on a vacation. Like, nah, y'all right, have, right, right. have that, like, oh, bro. Y- that you're bond will never the, be broken. You're opening the door for that. Let's just say that. Y'all okay, got a kid. Okay. Worst case scenario, that door is going to be open. <laughs> that conversation is going to pop up like, yo, so, like... It's I'm not, not even gonna scum. pop up. It's not even gonna pop up. It's just gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. First of all, y'all, y'all got it's twenty three of your chromosomes in there, and then twenty three of her chromosomes. <laughs> no, he in there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. He went mad. Like, come yo, on, bro. Yo, like, yo, I, I, y'all you right, share. Right. So, it's, yeah, like, just you might as well not go. We if you're not gonna go this oh, bond too. Like, I'm nah. not going. It's better off if you go with the four. But if you just if you rather just go with you, your yeah, son, that's, and her, that's, that's, that's that's dangerous. That's dangerous, bro. That's dangerous. Like, I don't care how you this. Don't care how secure you are. If we do go with the four. You know what I mean? I'm separate be, rooms. I'm, yeah, of course it's gonna be separate. Everything gonna be separate. Separate. But chief, I need a whole separate you floor. Got, chief is petty. I'm gonna be looking good, smelling better. As you Hello. should. You gonna regret. As you should. You gonna regret. <laughs> After five years, though, like you, said. you gonna regret leaving me. You gonna regret, you regret talk about. leaving me for That's that normal. dweeb. He That's not normal. me. That's normal. Right. That's and then the, and my new wife is gonna be different. Hey yo, di- his perspective, babe. This is never gonna happen. Right. Here's a perspective. <laughs> yes, disclaimer. Here's a perspective, disclaimer. That, here's a, here's a perspective that nobody even It's only about. entertainment. Why do you think that your son or your daughter is asking for their dad to go on a vacation? You want to spend time with the kids, bro. Not No, that I get I that. Mean, but family. I'm talking about a perspective of maybe he doesn't feel like the new husband is playing that father role. 
Wait. I don't think I so. I love that. I don't think you so. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because, again, the Coquito must have been taken over the household. Yeah. Because that topic came up, right? Straight up. Let's say you have a child with a woman. Mm-hmm. Y'all not together anymore, and obviously she's going to move on. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that new man discipline, trying to discipline your kid? So this is something I asked on the Hot Rod show. It's kind of similar. Um, mm-hmm. But it was like the female. Like, do, how do you feel about your, your, your um, damn, I got to remember the question. Your boyfriend's girlfriend, you know, having the same rights, you know, like, Parents and your nah, kids or whatever. girlfriend is that's too loosely. I'm talking about <laughs> now. Let's say marriage. Ma- actually, no, I like that. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Even overall, a- whether a it's your husband or if it's your boyfriend, mm-hmm. trying to discipline my kid. <clears throat> when you say discipline your kid, you mean like, like, I mean, it, it, do you discipline? Di- discipline. Period. Period. Like you don't want him to discipline your kid at all. No. So then it's very and my, simple. And the, my, the mother of my child needs to have that conversation the day y'all get serious. The day my child comes next to your new man needs to be firm. Listen, if my daughter or my son mm-hmm. disrespects you, let me handle it. I'm their parent. I'm their mother. <laughs> let me handle it. So that's the conversation it. that you got to have with that's, her and him. Oh, no. No, 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 of course. But or, or I, was, I was just her. about to say. At least. With that specific situation. the first baby mom's usually That mistake. falls, not to like put it all in their responsibility. I don't want it to come off like that. But it is the mother responsibility to say like, yo, you are the new guy, but this is my son. His father is still in his life. Mm-hmm. Actively. Mm-hmm. So either... We're going to work this out because this is a package deal or you're not going to deal with me. Okay. Because female, there's certain women that say that like, yo, this is a package deal. Like, and if the father is active in that child's life, they're going to have that conversation. If you don't have that conversation, I mean, you have no respect for me. So for me, as the father of the child, I just, I'm going to have that conversation with her when, once I realize like, all right, cool. There's another guy in, in the picture. Cool. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. But this, this, and this, you know, needs to happen. Right. I don't, I don't mind having a conversation with both of them. Me personally, mm. you know what I mean. Respectful, me respectful conversation. Me too, yeah. Like, hey, you know what I mean. You know, I know you, you, you and my um, you know, ex, y'all getting serious, blah blah blah. But you know, I really appreciate it if you know what I mean. You would let her do the discipline. And that's all. You know, like it's, it, it's it's a very yeah, simple like way that. to put yeah. it. Put like it. You know that. what I mean. Let me ask now, you a question. Now, once once, once it gets some type of way where I'm not feeling it, then it's like, all right, cool. Then I can yes, handle it the way home. I Daddy, feel. Daddy, mommy's boyfriend hit me. I'm fixing oh, nah. his clock. Oh, nah, you're done. I'm fixing his clock. If I, if I, if I ever hear that, you're done. I'm going to get somebody to fix his clock. You are done. I'm going to fix him. I, 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 do, I do that. You don't put your hand on my fucking don't. child. That's because not your child. Because if I'm famous, I can't do it. I can't really put my hands yeah. on him without getting a lawsuit. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I'm tapped that's into why the hood. That's people got to like, be... Yo, bro. Don't incriminate yourself. But that's why I get really, I get real sensitive about these topics. But then my girl was like, you got to ask these questions. That's if you... Like, again... Choice had said that, I think, on episode five. Like, you got to, before you propose to a woman, you got to ask these questions, have this dialogue. Like, because mm-hmm. we don't know if we're going to stay together or not. And you're going to move on. Oh, that was a, that was the prenup conversation. Yeah, just like yeah. the prenup. Like, and then it goes both ways. Like, I don't want my new partner hitting my kid. Like, her mother t- disciplines her. Don't don't hit her. Like, so you're going to have yeah. that conversation. Not that conversation, but you want to have these Or not just hitting. You're on punishment. Your own, Go to your right. room. Like, you no TV, no right. video so games. Let me, so no. let me ask you a question. As if okay, let's say that was the situation, right? That's if, tough, if, though, if, bro. Tough. Yeah. Have, have you guys dated a girl with kids before? Yes, I haven't. Okay, That's cool. Thing. So, what if the father's not in the kid's life? I was just about to say, if okay. as, as a father That's of a the question. child, right? Let's say your child looks up to this new person as some type of role model, or they're doing the right thing. As far as keeping your child's best interest at heart, wouldn't you appreciate that? As as like like even though you dealing with somebody else, cool. But that person that you're dealing with is treating my kid with mad respect, yeah, mad love, shit like that. Wouldn't you appreciate that? Yeah, like I, it, absolutely. I mean, I, I know I know discipline the disciplinary, it's the discipline shit part is different. I get, but if something was to happen and I'm not I'm not accessible at that point in time, if my child is in your hands responsibly. I'm expecting you 
You know what I'm saying? Like I said, keep his interest at heart. If you feel like he's doing something wrong, yeah, if you there, let him know. Like, yeah. But don't sit there and beat his ass with a belt or like, put him on punishment or take his phone away or some shit. Like, you don't have the right to do that. Yeah. But as the role model that you that you are now, because of the situation you're in, you have that right to still teach him the right way to do things or her the right way to do things. And that's if the, the baby father, the, the father of the child is not in the person's life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. The reason no I, I bring that up because I was no in, father around, like, I was you, in that you situation. You were the father figure. Right. So the way it happened for me is kind of like, you know what I mean? I, I like I was dating her. You know what I mean? She made me work for everything, which I didn't, I wasn't used to or whatever. But then when I, I wasn't finally, used to. I wasn't used to. <laughs> keeping a book. And then when I finally met her kids, it's like they just loved me. It's like you st- it hit me with the oh, you know what? Your new name is Daddy. Yeah, your oh, daddy. Start, they start they start jumping on me. I'm like I'm like yeah, I'm like, and I'm sweating <laughs> in my head like what the fuck? Yeah, oh, how did yeah. I get here? You know yeah. what I mean? I, so so I don't the know thing how is, I feel about that. so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like so, this is not we weren't in a relationship at the time. You know what I mean? Because I always like damn, I don't really want to deal with a, um, a female that has kids. Now I'm a little little bit more open minded depending on certain. I things. feel like. A little bit, but you should also have kids. I don't. I feel like if I'm a date a woman with kids, I gotta have kids too. So mm-hmm. you got you gotta understand perspectives yeah, because, because me, you don't have for, kids for and you're dating somebody with it's one. It's not like that for me. It's kind of like if she if she has her stuff together, you know what I mean. I don't I don't mind because there's a lot of good women. You know what I mean. They just maybe not made a mistake when they was young. They just happened. It just happened when they was young. Yeah, whatever the case may be. So fuck the so, situation. In that situation that I was in, you know what I mean? Like, I was dating her, and I was kind of shook about it. And then eventually, you know what I mean? We made a decision. I was like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? We're going to we in a relationship now. It can't, I I was the guy that was... And the father is, like, not in the child's life. All a whole right. nother country. You Got feel you. me? So <clears throat> I wasn't the one... I'm not... I'm not gonna over. I'm still not overstepping my boundaries to try to discipline the kids for the simple fact that they not my kids at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell them like, hey, look, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, but then it came to a point where she was like, yo, you know what I mean? If we're gonna be together, you know what I mean? I don't mind. You know what I mean? Like, like it was kind of like a us thing. Like we was going somewhere. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So then she gave me the 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 green light to discipline. Not that I'm you know pulling out the belt. Like I wasn't doing no crazy shit like yeah. that. I was getting creative. With like as far as like you know what I mean like. I was on other creative stuff. To, to you know what I just thought about real quick? <clears throat> I think with like stuff like that, when it happens, like if you like, let's say your relationship didn't work out, it was unfulfilled, you wasn't satisfied with what's going on, right? Mm. And you run into somebody new, right? You're like I said about the whole, you know, keeping your child interested at heart and shit. But it's like, I think most women, like single parents in general. They tend to date because they don't want to be like they don't want to feel like they're just doing it by themselves or they just they're like they feel like they're alone. So they have to fill a void Mm. a certain way. Like I feel like a lot of a lot of single parents date not because they really like the person. But because they want to fill that void in a way. So check it out. Yeah, it's like, check it out. And it, it's need, crazy because it's like. So let me ask you something, you right? It takes two. It man. takes two to tango. So, That's a fact. So let's say this is kind of. Goes hand in hand, right? Mm-hmm. No kids, no nothing. Just us personally now. None of us have kids, right? Would you rather be lonely and alone, mm-hmm. like lonely and by yourself, or in an unfulfilling relationship? The first one. You rather be alone and by yourself? Yeah, I agree. But I want to hear your take on why, because I think I think we might have. I'm, I I have a certain reason that that might not be conventional. So you rather be by yourself than be with somebody and be unhappy. Mm-hmm. Unfulfilled mm-hmm. because I've been in a I've been in a relationship where the end of it you know what I mean before I kind of knew it was the end of it because relationships was is still kind of new to me I'm still like you know what I mean still learning this shit out because mm-hmm. I'm used to being a player or whatever so I was in a relationship where I felt like I felt like that but I, maybe I didn't know that I felt like that but that's what it was mm-hmm. and that sucks you know what I mean it's like karma or some shit like that God's punishing me yeah. for all the stuff I did to win when mm-hmm. I was younger some shit like that so. At this point in my life, if I had to choose between them, I'd rather be by myself, man. I'd rather be... And, and I want... You know what I mean? I kind of want, like, a counterpart at this point. I think having one woman and learning her and learning her body and stuff like that and vice versa is a little bit cooler to me mm-hmm. than just out here doing that because maybe because I did it already. I want that. But right now I'm single and if I had to choose between a relationship like that and being alone right now or just being alone and dating other women... I would choose being alone right now. And that's exactly why I said I agree, but for a different reason. I think people, they associate loneliness 
in a negative narrative. Like when 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 you see somebody say, "Oh, he's lonely," is because or you feel like he's just he has no friends, no family. He's just by himself. I'm not gonna front you. Yeah. Like you know, it's it's shining a different light, and it's like it's a bad me, connotation. There's a word called solitude. It's one of my favorite words. Mm. Solitude's meaning, in paraphrase, is the ability to in, like like to enjoy your yourself like by yourself, like mm-hmm. the ability to be alone and still. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy my solitude. I love me. And it's all about self-reflecting, self-awareness. Like, you have to love yourself before you can show the world who you are and expect people to, you know, gravitate to your energy. You know what I'm saying? I like to be alone, not because I'm lonely, but because I can sit in the house and play PlayStation, smoke weed, watch TV. I can enjoy my own time. My own, I'm my own entertainment. I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need... Two, three people to pull up to the crib just so I could be like, I, right, I'm having a good time. How about lonely as far as relationship though? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, listen, That's I've the been, same thing. I, I've, I've, I've had my stretches of being single, and of course, naturally, it's like, damn, I kind of want a girl. I just, I need, I need somebody to, you know what I'm saying? But all, other times, it's like, I, I don't want to engage in your energy because mm. me being single and other people being single, you have hidden agendas. It is what it is. You might, I might want somebody just for sex. Women might want me just because it's a free meal when they go out. It's like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like that. It's you know what I'm like saying? That. So it's like, it it, it, it it all depends on what your interest is. And me enjoying my time to myself allows me to say, you know what? I love me. So I'm able to love somebody else. And I'm going to act I'm going to act like me. I'm going to stay I'm going to stay true to myself 100%. So if you accept that, it is what it is. If you don't, all right, I'll just still continue being me, doing what I do because I'm happy nah, with myself. Real. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get into a relationship and like you said, I work two, three years down the line investing time, money, patience, energy. But you guys and that shit don't work. Always this wise because to keep it 100 Definitely not. I'm going to keep it 100. Know. I was in some I've had relations unfulfilling yeah. relationships where I'm like yo I know this shit isn't going nowhere mm-hmm. I know that everybody knows that like mm-hmm. this shit is a waste of fucking time and you stayed cause I didn't want to be by myself not that I didn't want to be by myself whether it's for selfish reasons or not like of course you know in an unfulfilling relationship there's gonna be like cheating so I was out being you know what I'm saying it's not it's not hard like you know what I'm saying but it was like multiple times, like I'm like, yo, this shit is bullshit. Like, why am I still here? But mm-hmm. I was young. Now I would never do that. So, but I don't think I I was like n- afraid of being alone or by myself. Mm-hmm. I think it was more so contention. Like I was just content. Like, all right, this is mm-hmm. what it is. Bust your ass every night. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying the perks. The, yeah, you. like you not not much perks, but I ain't gonna front. It's not. It's 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 no worse a feeling. Than being in somebody's presence and you still feel like you're by yourself, it's that's the worst thing in the world. Like I, can't I can even be air horn for that. I, that's too. I could be with somebody that I love and cherish to my heart, but if I don't feel happy with that person and if I'm there with them, like it could be an awkward silence and I'll feel I'll get emotional about that shit. Like damn, like we're not even talking. No. It's you. just it's just a weird like why am I even here? You feel what I'm saying? And that shit is whack, bro. Damn. It's a whack to feel that way. Like Shit. that's why I say I'd rather be if, if I'm gonna feel like that. Myself. I'd rather be by myself and feel <laughs> that way. Let me, let me be in my feelings by Joyce myself. Lit, I'm boy. not about boy, to sit boy, here and be around somebody that I brother, know is friends. not gonna work. It's not gonna work out for me. And I'm just I'm just. But at 19, 18, we not thinking like that. We thinking, thinking like with that. our dicks. Yeah, yeah, that's what experience. You know what I'm saying niggas is thinking with their dick. That's why I feel the way I feel now. Because at that time we think we gonna be young forever, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, we are lighting up the mood, man. Joy. The choice is the doctor. Like, <laughs> choice is the doctor. Hot Rod is the fucking lawyer. <laughs> For real. Like, all right, but check it out then. What is, right, the male... This is a question, though. We're going to talk about this. What is the male equivalent to buying a woman flowers? Yo, I asked somebody that shit yesterday, uh, right? The um, male equivalent to buying a woman boy, flowers. I asked the woman this shit. I said, I need your perspective because... Is this, it's, it's just us three males on the show. Yeah, I yeah. I asked you this shit, right? Comment below. Please yo, comment. Let us know what you want us to talk the about. the funniest take I've heard in so long. What'd she say? I, told her, I was like, yo, I asked her the question, and she was like, well, if oh. that's the case, I'll give you a blunt, because it's flowers, too. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What do you mean? Like, I smoke weed. That's I don't a good need, one, though. I don't need your weed. Yo, can I give my answer? What's your answer? I, yo, I got an answer. When I love... I 
this question, yo. Man. When I ride set this shit through, I was like, damn. That's a good but question. But I knew my answer immediately. What's that? The male equivalent to buying a woman flowers is breakfast in bed. That's one of them. I have a different answer. I was gonna say just cooking me a meal. Period. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, Mm-mm. like just okay. cooking for me in general. Even though you cook way more than you buy flowers, but for yeah. me it's but like breakfast in bed is not just cooking you a meal that y'all have in the kitchen together. That's you in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's you waking off, up and saying I'm gonna feed looking him at the something. TV, and then she comes to you in the, whatever the nice sexy outfit lingerie, and then she just puts the platter in front of you like, yo, I made your coffee, King. Yeah. I got your orange juice and your pancakes is being See, mixed right now. See, with his acts of service. He don't even know it. I told him this shit, yo. I told yo, him this. Nah, like, like shit like that. Is. That's the equivalent to me sending flowers to your job. Like, I was trying to send my girl flowers when she, we, you know, she lived upstate. When she was up there, like, send flowers, like, all the time and mm-hmm. shit. Because I know she liked that type of shit. And the greatest thing that I got, that's why I was like, yo, I can answer this easily, was I got breakfast in bed. Every time, like I, I just move food. off the bed. Damn, what is what else? I mean, I, I, I got I say cologne. Food, but I say cologne. Cologne is expensive, but you gotta think about flowers. But that's that, something you do that, what once but, a week. But, yeah, but once that, a week. Nah, but this the thing though, because cologne lasts. You can last for years. Okay, flowers so you don't. Okay, okay. No, matter of fact, <laughs> let me <laughs> ask. Dope. Let me ask this question out of perspective. That's an interesting one. Why? Why? Why are you getting the flowers for the women? Like, what's the reason? To show what? Love, gratitude, Low, appreciation. Gratitude, and women, that, and, that and women care, love right? flowers, too. Right, like, it, it shows it, that, that you thought about them and that you, you know what I'm saying? So To make them feel good. So it's like, yo, you know I like colognes. You know I like to dress a certain way. If you know that, if you're walking through Macy's or some shit, like, yo, I think they might like this shit. So, if you bring that home, yeah. you catching all of the... <laughs> you all that. But you know what, you though? all that. You know what, but though? So that's that means- like... Special. It's different. It's it different is for, spending that much money. Flowers is like means, the norm. It's exactly. Like, you it's know different for every man. Then that yeah, means yeah, yeah, because yeah. flowers. Although all women are not gung ho or crazy about flowers, whatever the case may be, mm. a lot of women like flowers. Like it's like a sure bet. Flowers or like chocolate. You know what I mean? Sure mm. It's a sure bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Not well, just guys, on Valentine's Day. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, like, it might be a little Valentine's different. Day, you're not gonna get the same amount of we love. We got three. Yeah. We generic. got three different things, so to speak, right? Mm-hmm. If it was three females sitting here doing their podcast, it's 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 very likely they'd be. Yeah, I love flowers, girl. You feel me? You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's a tough question. Yeah. I'm, I'm them, still one of them my is answer, gonna say but... take them out for a free meal, but I, you know, yeah. Nah, if I send you flowers, like yo. Babe had a rough week studying homework and that's shit lit. like that. I sent what flowers to your job. See, that's a gift. It's tough. Bro. I can't yeah. afford to buy you a different watch every, every week. week. Yeah, but I can send you flowers like on on schedule every Thursday. They yeah. know like yo every Thursday. Just take it from my account. Bring my girl. Oh, I know what it roses. is. I got it. Bring me lunch at work. Mm, Once a week, I like I've that. got it. Bring me food at Bring the me job. Lunch at yeah. work. I like, like because think that. about it. Because you taking time out of your day, you know what I mean. You was thinking about I like me. that. You bring food to my job. You know, Yo, why for the common denominator is food though. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, son? <laughs> I mean, breakfast in bed, lunch Yo, to my job, lunch that's to my dope. job. Because that's yeah. something you could do once a week. You can do that's, that. Once, I like you don't that. have to do that every day. You know, I, I like that. Like that, yeah. But it's it just hit me. I'm like, oh. you know, you know, the way that my heart is to feed me <laughs> every fucking that day. Is a fact. And then you you made it or you bought it, whatever, and you bring it it's to me at my job. It. If you if you if you physically prepared it, that shows more. A hundred percent because you did it. Like, you but I ain't mad. Did it. I ain't mad if she if she pull up to Benny. If you pull up with some Popeyes, <laughs> I'll take some Popeyes. And you you bought oh, me food. Man. Like the fuck, yo guys. It's almost time to wrap up. Let me know what y'all think about the OD segment and please send us comments. Please send us questions and stuff like that. I'm telling you, you're getting deep, dope perspectives. You feel me? Like from three different individuals with different th- thought processes. Tune in. Mm-hmm. This week, we're going to close out with the Black Excellence segment because mm. it was a, it's a heavy episode, man. We spoke about politics. We spoke about violence and hip-hop violence in the community and again we're going to be responsible with the platform and say stop the violence Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. millionaires killing millionaires seems to be a thing amongst black people i don't know why but please stop it let's use that money and that energy to build up a black community where your kid will be able to be hired even no matter his zip code or the way his name is pronounced Mm -hmm. or her name is pronounced you feel me so 
Please, please, please continue to push the agenda. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Also, be safe out there. You see we got hand sanitizer on deck. You see we got masks on deck. COVID numbers are increasing. We may be going on a lockdown. Safety first. Don't be the ignorant dickhead that puts your family members in jeopardy. Right. Your older family members in jeopardy. We young. I'm sorry. We young. Our bodies could take it and beat it, but not the older person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So be responsible. With that being said, my black excellence shout out goes to Shooter Shane, a.k.a. Smart Cutter 101, owner of the best barbershop in Brooklyn, Smart Cuts. Mm. Little bit of backstory. Shane has been cutting my hair since I was 15. Mm-hmm. So that man has seen every transition I made in life. He saw waves. He saw an afro. <laughs> he sees the baldy. Mm-hmm. He sees the mustache and the beard. And he doesn't just only cut me. He mm-hmm. cuts my whole crew. He cuts everybody in the neighborhood. And his chain and smart cuts is a staple in the community. Mm-hmm. We spoke about building up black businesses. 15 years this man has been cutting my hair. Mm-hmm. Still in the same hood. He moved to different shops, opened up bigger and better, you know, locations, but he never left. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We never left. Always went to Shane. When I wanted to go on a vacation with my girl, I'm like, yo, babe, if Shane not open, we're going to have to change the dates. Why? Because Shane Shane knows my look. Customer service. Customer service, Service. too. Customer experience. That's true. I go to Shane, we chop it up, we watch the game. Shane offered me Henny. I did one of the back to school giveaways. That. I'm not getting that. Yo, everywhere. I did one of the back to school giveaways at Shane's shop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shane is a staple in my hood. He's an OG in yeah. my hood. So, shout out to Shooter Shane. Follow him on Instagram at SmartCutter101. Go to Smart Cuts and get a fucking haircut. I ain't even got to tell you the address because you're going to know about Smart Cuts right. with a Z. Okay. You feel me? Okay. Who's next? I'm next. I, I, I'll take over this one. Go ahead, go ahead. My black excellence shout out is um, my boy Skrilla Gambino. Mm-hmm. He's an artist. Um, I knew him for years. He lives in the hood with me. Um, I'm shouting him out because recently he just dropped something called Explosive Chose, which is Nachos. Mm. Right, oh. it's nachos created. It's loaded nachos like how I got, like like the mac and cheese. He does mm. nachos with whatever you want, like shrimp, chicken, whatever. Oh, PC, he yeah, dropped cooking. Yeah, boy. yeah, they he cook. dropped. Man. Stepping he, up, it's man. funny. You know what's crazy? He dropped a clothing line to promote it and to promote you, his food. Yeah, and you know how <laughs> you said you got to start somewhere with like the hand yeah, T-shirt like and the that. press. Nah, he went to he went to the same person that that um that does the snapple clothing with the bulldog. I always wear. Mm-hmm. He went to him and asked him for advice, like, all right, who, like, like, how should I do shit? And he didn't hide the plug. He didn't hide the he plug. He helped his man you know what I'm uplift his now, brother. And the fabric that he used, like, his shit is like, that's you would have thought saying. it was sold at Macy's or that's one of them that's big that's department stores. Like, yo, and that shit is moving. So nice. shout out to him. He's Peace, making King. he's making nachos. He's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing a lot of great things right now. And that's my shout out. Nice. You know nice. Yeah. Hot ride. All right, so I'm a, I'm a, all right, so it's this is a girl I went to high school with. She, mm-hmm. her, um, the name of her company is called Gold Skins, mm-hmm. and it's skins like the S at the end is a Z. She's a license, a licensed esthetician. I know I'm, I messed that up, but I'm a little saucy. You don't don't mind. Ha, <laughs> coquito. All right. Um, the email is the same as her name. It's, it's goldskins at gmail.com. Same thing for her Instagram is goldskins. Right. So she does certain stuff like waxing, chemical peels, lax lash extensions but something something that kind of like um stuck out to me is something called the avajacial a a what did. it's a called the avajacial so that's like a facial for the vajay that's exactly what it is <laughs> wow I, I, did, I didn't even know wow. i didn't even know what that was that was just a wild guess a vajacial a, a facial for the vajay air horn air horn air horn that's why it's called Vajacial. It's catchy, too. So That's fire. It, it's, yeah, it's definitely fire. <laughs> That's so, fire. So, so ladies, listen. If you if you need a Vajacial, you know, some waxing, some chemical peeling, you know, your your, your back extractions, how that gold skins. Nice. Yeah? Nice. Wow. Black excellence shout outs. That's crazy. On um, point. I think I like the black excellence shout out before we close out. Or you think we should do it in the beginning? Like, we'll network. All right. We'll network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Also, um... For any business inquiries, DM myself, 
at each the number one teach the number one podcast on Instagram. I'll let Choice tell you his. Yo, it's well made choice on Instagram, Facebook, all streaming platforms. You know where to find me. All right, once again, that's Hot Rod underscore Caviar with the K underscore. Um, check me out every week. I'm doing a Hot Rod show. Just something I'm getting spicy. We're having fun. So, Hell yeah. yeah. Zersky. Hell yeah. Send the DMs. If you have any business questions, inquiries, whatever, send the DMs and we'll, you know, we'll chop it up. Mm-hmm. Also, we are now available on all DSPs. Apple Podcasts. Oh, time. word, word. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, everywhere. So, you can listen to us. And you can watch us on YouTube. You feel me? So check it out. The E1T1 Podcast with Well Made Choice and Hot Rod. We appreciate you. Send us comments on what you want to hear us talk about on the OD segment. Mm. Next week's episode, I don't want to make it too hot yet, so I'm not going to make any announcements. But we're going to switch it up a little bit. Next week's episode. You got a surprise? Yeah, we got a surprise. We're going to switch it up a little bit. All right. All right. You feel me? We out of here. Thank you. Salute. 500 views. Let's get to 1,000. Respectfully. Respectfully. The road to 1,000, yes, baby. Yes, Let's do it. The road to Peace. 1,000. Bingo.